Um, my name is Justin Harrison, and we're honored and privileged that you have chosen to spend a few minutes with us today, actually a couple hours for those of you who are going to be with us the whole time. Um, my wife and I have been with doTERRA since day one, um, over 10 years now, and it's been an amazing journey of health and healing and literally seeing the lives of millions of people around the world change for the better. And that's been our biggest reward by far. And we welcome you, realize that many of you are brand new to doTERRA, brand new, brand new to our business. Maybe some of you have been using the product for a long time and you're just now embracing uh, the business side. So we have in this room a powerhouse panel that is going to be sharing information with you. And so I'm going to pass the next introduction to Laura Jacobs. Well, good morning, Justin. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here together. Gosh, what good company I'm in, not only the, the folks in the room, the folks online. You know, I joined doTERRA when there was about 1,100 of us. That was a long time ago. I was a few months old and had an opportunity, thank you to Natalie Goddard, who's also here, who's my enroller, who brought to me this doTERRA opportunity. I remember starting out with just a passion for essential oils. And I had been using oils for, what, 10, 12, 13 years at that point. And had not found a passion <laughs> because they weren't giving me what I thought they should. And goodness, like what an experience. They just won my heart so rapidly and just turned around and started sharing. And, and again, thanks to Natalie, had an opportunity together to be the fifth and sixth founder in the US market and to, to see where we are in 10 years and to see where we've, where we've come to as far as polishing our act. And what's beautiful is we totally, created amazingness flying by the seat of our pants because we had a passion for the oils we had a story in our heart and out the door we went with the courage and that's really where you're at when you're launching your business right is you've had some experiences with the product and you're filled with that enthusiasm and you can't wait to run out the door and share it with those you love and so we're excited to infuse that concept with you here today okay hi my name is Casey Vaudry and I've been with doTERRA eight years and yeah, <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love it. And like everyone in the room, when I started, we also didn't have anything. So we, <laughs> um, <laughs> we just played and shared our story, loved on the oils and just really became part of a mission of getting the oils into the hands of everyone that we knew. So I'm so grateful to be here and share with you how to launch your business. We're super excited. We put a lot of love and energy into this program and we look forward to sharing it with you yeah what a powerful experience to be able to be together today and celebrating this because yes we all have our history right mm -hmm. our experiences in doTERRA but no matter who you are no matter where you are in your journey um what's beautiful is today we've dialed in this process of launching your business and um, I'm so excited for you to experience that. I'm Natalie Goddard and just honored to be in this room with these amazing speakers <laughs> and with you because you're on an incredible journey. I love how Dave Sterling just said at convention, we're catching a whole new wave and you're mm -hmm. on the front of that wave. You are catching that wave and what a great time to be launching your business. So we're just celebrating you. This is an incredible process. This is the core of, um, of all ranks in doTERRA. And so really powerful place to begin and understand this key rank, right? Every rank is mm -hmm. built off um, this initial rank of elite. And so we're gonna dive in. It's, it's our intention today that you know clearly how to launch your business and you have the courage and strength to move forward and be able to do just that. Awesome, thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Casey and Laura. Um, a few comments that have come in just for clarity. Um, unfortunately, all did not get to see our lovely faces this morning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not put my makeup on. Um, <laughs> so um, so uh, you, perhaps we'll post some pictures in the recording so that you can see us on our A-game. Uh, but uh, so you're just going to see the content, the presentation as we share and talk about it. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So. Sweet, let's dive in. 
just as we again welcoming you to this process should we discuss how we would how we're utilizing this in general i think it's important to understand that what we're showing you right now is the powerpoint so that you can go out and create your own launch camp with your team so this we're going to do an online version for you today but you definitely could be doing this in a you know classroom setting or a small group setting so what you're going to see today is we're going to play around with the, the scripting and the PowerPoint so that you can actually feel as if you're in the launch camp experience. And we're going to start out just with intentions um, so that we can all be clear and make the most out of this time together. Um, so again, our intention is that you leave educated and empowered and clear about what to do. But why are you here? Take just a moment and drop into these questions. Why are you here? What do you want to leave today knowing? And what do you want to leave today feeling? So if you'll just grab a pen and paper and take a moment to get clear about your intention for today. Guys, we're still here with you. So uh, just take a moment and, and look through these three questions and identify what it is that you're hoping to leave with today. So as you get clear here, we invite you to act on what you learned today and you'll experience the results that these proven principles will bring into your life and your doTERRA business. So just a invitation to play full out so that your intentions are met. Be present, be focused. Maybe right now you eliminate distractions and you know, turn that phone on airplane mode, step away from it and just dive in with us here so we can have a lot of fun together and get you set on the right footing as you launch your doTERRA business. So as we dive in, um, we wanna just come back to the commitment that you made initially um, so that you can get really anchored to that. You know, the build guide is such an important piece of breathing life into this opportunity that we call doTERRA. And every builder deserves an opportunity to see what the build guide has to offer. And it essentially takes a person through a set of decisions. And so we're going to assume from you, if you've chosen to show up here for launch training on how to launch your business, that you have made a commitment. So our desire is to help you anchor that commitment in reviewing just a few things from the build guide that we feel are super important to remind ourselves of as we go through this experience. So on this particular page of build, page three, there's this beautiful opportunity to choose into a partnership with doTERRA. You know, each of us truly are the CEO of our own business and we run our own business. You know, we 
spot. We get 1099s that we're, we're officially in tax status, running our own business. And we're partnering with someone who does many, many aspects of our business in doTERRA. And so reminding ourselves of that partnership and what it is that we're anchoring ourselves to by way of quality products that we can stand behind. You know, there's so much we can say there about 96% proprietary sourcing, 11 different ways to test our oils to demonstrate and prove that they literally are certified pure therapeutic grade and that we literally can answer to the question, well, can't you just get this stuff somewhere else? That we've got these kinds of things in our pocket that we understand the collective experience of our owners of nearly 100, I mean, I hear anywhere from 120 to 150 years mm -hmm. when you add up their experience and combine it to who we have leading at the helm of this, this great ship called doTERRA. And we understand the rapidity of our growth that we compare ourselves to a few of the giants out there and we're leading the pack on, on rate of growth. And then I think most important to each of us, you know, we're changing the world with our products and we're changing the world with our products. There's nothing more humbling, right? There's nothing more humbling than to go to Haiti or, you know, because right in the middle of this picture is a grower who's carrying, I believe it is vetiver root on their head. And we've all been there. All, all four of us in this room have been there and we've observed that process. And there is nothing more endearing to us than the fact that there are people across the world doing hard things, growing beautiful plants and bringing those to us and then capturing them the essence of those in the bottles and then we're able to distribute that that's this is the essence of our business is what doTERRA brings to us and allows us to be able to provide and so just really anchoring yourself and knowing what that partnership with doTERRA means is a huge part of what you have to feel your business now inside of the build guide after a prospective builder is introduced to the compensation plan we come to this beautiful opportunity mm. right to examine, so things. how do I want to play? Yeah. This is how my favorite page of the <laughs> Yes. My favorite page. Yes, so tell us why, Justin. Why is it your fave? So for you Harry Potter fans out there, you'll understand this reference, right? This is the sorting hat. This is the doTERRA sorting hat that not only helps us, but helps our team members to identify what is our level of commitment. And so I love that on this right side in particular, it will outline for people what is their level of play, okay? Which house do they want to be in? To go back to the Harry Potter reference, okay. right? Do they want to earn enough money just to get their product for free, which is great? And what are gonna be the obligations and commitment level to do that? Do they wanna just supplement their income? This is the level of commitment necessary for that. Or do they wanna replace their income? Or if I were in New York, I'd say earn gangsta money. <laughs> um, you know, what is it, where is it that they see themselves and what I really love about this page is they get to self-select their level of participation and commitment so that you and I know where to focus our time and energy. So for those of you that maybe this is your first time seeing this, we would invite you to make this choice. What is your level of commitment? In fact, let's take you through a little exercise. So this is the bottom portion of the page with the couple looking dreamily across the lake or ocean or whatever the sunset <laughs> and in a very simple way as we present this opportunity we've divided these options for dreaming bigger right into earning more working smarter and doing more of what you love and so take a minute here and consider what would make the biggest impact in your life and it's very possible you've already been through the build guide you've already had this experience but reiteration is super super valuable so just savor the possibility because what you need to do is anchor your actions to a vision and the vision is what will drive you it's the thing that gets you out of bed in the morning it's remembering the things that it's creating in your life it's the reason why you're willing to get uncomfortable and maybe talk to somebody that otherwise you would have hesitated and so take just a minute here and consider these possibilities and other things and fill in the blank for you what are you creating with your doTERRA business success This is where we sing while they're writing. So sort of like some dreaming music. <laughs> <laughs> so we have music to play for y'all, but it's causing a feedback echo. So, so you're maybe I, thinking, I never think, mind. Yeah, I think, well, we'll try it for We here. could hum. Natalie's got a good singing voice. <laughs> Natalie, you want to break out the song? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to try playing it from this instead of this. Great song. idea. I like that.
schooling. There you and go. This, this is such a fun question. It and is. You know, um, when you're clear about what you're creating, you're gonna create that. So, mm -hmm. what do you what do you want it to feel like? What do you want it to be like? Well, and the power of intention. So again, we're talking about anchoring our commitment mm -hmm. by by powering your commitment, right, and anchoring it to your vision and fueling it. You know, because we're 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 all about fueling our launch, right, like a rocket. And this is some of the things that's the most powerful fuel you can put in your heart and your mind. And we would invite you to get intentional about that. So let's say, for example, you chose under earning more debt free. doTERRA has a free to give program that helps you go after levels of debt. So talk about, I want to pay off the car, I want to pay off the house. I literally walked out the door 20 years before. Um, well, 20 years ago, let's see, 22 years ago, let me get okay, let me start over. I literally walked out the door 22 years ago, when I started my uh, participation in the wellness industry with the goal to pay off our house. And it took 20 years, right? But that was a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. like it happened. And doTERRA was part of that, you know, eight of those years, but it was an amazing thing to be able to realize that dream and to be intentional about that. It also helps you choose your level of play. Exactly. So with these in mind, let's go then to the next step, what Justin lovingly calls the sorting hat. I love that. And you know, there's no bad answer here, mm -hmm. right? This is for you to take, the previous page and look at what did I check off? So let's kind of play this out, right? So what did I check off? Okay, I wanna travel more, or I wanna be out of debt, or I wanna have more charitable giving, excellent. So now how much do you need to increase the bottom line in your household in order for you to live those dreams? Is it that you wanna live a more well life for you and your family? So earning your doTERRA order, like earning enough income to pay for your doTERRA order every month fulfills that dream. So that's a perfect level of play. Let's say, you know, Roxanne Bybee is Natalie's sister. And I think all of us are familiar with a video called Van by the River, where Roxanne was working a graveyard job and she had little kids and she was homeschooling. So my heart goes out to her. I can see her as a young mom. Like I have a daughter who's a young mom. She gets tired when she gets woken up nine times a night, right? So I'm thinking of Roxanne who's working this part-time job to make 1200 bucks. And what would it mean to her to choose level two, which she did, right, which her and James chose to get her out of that part-time graveyard job. And that was their goal. That was the level of play that they saw for themselves. And then as Justin put it, maybe you want to do replacement income and multiply and think big. Maybe you want to- Gangsta money. Gangsta money, right? <laughs> so maybe you're dreaming really big. Maybe for a lot of people in doTERRA top leaders, there's a lot of husbands who've been retired from careers. There's a lot of, uh, you know, wives who wanted to change the status of their home and doTERRA has become the vehicle for that. So we invite you to match these two things. What level of success allows you to fulfill the dreams that you just recorded on the previous page? And then we also invite you to take a look at the time commitment, that this isn't just a pie in the sky, falls out of the sky experience that we get to commit to a certain level of play. So don't miss the fact that there's a little kind of a clock diagram that's showing you not only what what goals you would want to shoot for by way of rank but also by way of time commitment what do you have to give to your business and i just what you put into it you're right get out right mm -hmm. you well, gotta put in that time and that commitment to receive it and i know when i started doTERRA i had a practice i had five kids i was raising mm -hmm. you know this was 10 years ago and i was extremely busy and what did i tell you natalie i literally said i, I don't have time, time for this, this. <laughs> right and i didn't so it's something that I chose to make some time for, and I had those initial experiences, and my commitment changed over time, right? And that being said, it's perfect. Wherever right. your commitment is today, know that, work forward with that, and know that this can change along your journey. Totally. Yeah, so, when I began, I had no interest in the business. I spent the first two years just purchasing every single product that the company had and sharing it with my friends and family. So it took me two years to really get out of that first section of get your product paid for to move into this replace your income. So be mindful and just give yourself some grace and commit to where you are today. And like Natalie said, and then move forward with that, that in mind. So anchor yourself to your vision for your future. Anchor that then to a rank commitment or an income commitment, a time commitment. And then with that, you can move forward. In the build guide, 
This is the one place in the entire Empowered Success System where we disclose to our new builder, hey, not only is there a way to earn this, but there's a way to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So we have a plan, we have a business plan. And so here it is laid out in its simplicity. What we call pipes activities is the way with which we approach our entire business. And it's fun that it's divided into three sections of pipe. The first of which is prepare, and you're preparing yourself. You're preparing your names list, you're preparing your schedule, your time commitments. You're preparing yourself by way of filling your heart with your product stories from not only your own experiences, but people in your family and those in your sphere of influence that are already using the product. You're filling your cup. Mm -hmm. You're filling your cup. Next section. Yeah, it's invite, present, and enroll. We call this the the iping <laughs> middle section, Ipe. right? Yeah. This is what you do with your prospects, right? You invite them, you present to them, you enroll them. And this is the core of what we do. This is where we really change lives, right? Um, and this part is key. Sometimes this part gets forgotten or brushed mm -hmm. over, but this mm -hmm. is core. To your business success and you know making a difference period yeah the s is for support and uh, this is an area that is so important because it's follow-up and follow-up is most often where we fall down <laughs> instead of following up right <laughs> is getting back and making sure the team has the support has the the links to conference calls and your facebook groups and and whatever ki kind of activities you're doing to create your community uh, are involved in that support. And by the way, um, a couple questions have come in. If you have the information in front of you, the Live, Share, Build guide, the launch guide, um, it would be really great to have that out and available right. as we're going through all this. If we were in a room together, um, you would all have that in your hands, mm -hmm. right, as part, as your course curriculum uh, for this event this morning. So if you have them, we invite you to get them out, have them handy, because we're going to reference uh, various pages and you'll be able to fill yeah. in the blanks write down your answers yeah make it a workbook right right mm -hmm. write in make your own personal copy of each guide I that, have. that you don't give away right, right. and and then that's your notes <laughs> laura, laura had say, one i don't even want yeah. to write in this it looks so beautiful i don't want to write in that i'm going to use it for someone else let me just invite you to use it for yourself right so you that's can right. live it then you can help other people with it if you ever want to see laura jacobs in a panic uh, she once gave me a copy of her guide <laughs> that she had put all of her notes in and she mistakenly gave it to me. We were reviewing and uh, I think you called me at like 2 a.m. or something like that <laughs> in a panic because she were trying to find where did it go and uh, and I had it. So, so it feel free fun. to make little notes in yours as you go along so that you are just taking this in. Well, what you're going to see is take a take a, a big view of this pipeline. Notice mm -hmm. the world on one end, and if you have a world of possibilities, a world of possibilities of people whose lives we can change. And coming out the other side of it is the income we've <coughs> spoken of and changing lives. So what we focus on in our doTERRA business is changing lives, mm -hmm. and that as a result of that, we create this pipeline or what we call a residual income pipeline. And the the build guide has done a beautiful job of teaching that principle when that is introduced. And Justin, thank you, right? This is our curriculum for our entire mm -hmm. launch camp. It's right here. This We're gonna it. go through all of these areas with all of these guides and make sure you feel like you have an understanding of every part of that. I wanted to add real quick to the support section. Make note in your mind that it says your team and your community. What you're servicing in the support area is two communities. Everybody's a customer. And mm -hmm. in doTERRA, we say about 15% of people, give or take, are also interested in the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So when you're speaking to a consumer, they don't necessarily want you in team lingo mode, right? Mm -hmm. They want to hear customer mode. Mm -hmm. And so recognize you have two audiences there that you have an opportunity to serve. And here in doTERRA, our philosophy, really just to emphasize Justin's point about the value of the support, mm -hmm. is that we are not a love them and leave them company. Mm -hmm. That lots of people are out there recruiting and finding all the time because they don't have retention. And remember back in the build guide, one of the things we talk about in our partnering with doTERRA is the potential for retention, which means a, you know, equals potential for residual income. And so just have those things in your heart that we're a catch them and keep them company. And so a lot of what we're going to teach you is how do you retain the business that you start? I was just with um, two builders last night for dinner. 
who started with me and doTERRA 10 years ago, our numbers are literally like five digits apart. <laughs> and we were celebrating the number of people that we enrolled 10 years ago that are still consumers mm -hmm. today. And the steadiness mm -hmm. of that influence is so powerful. That's so powerful that mm -hmm. we, as partnering with doTERRA, we come into that culture and that philosophy with a powerful product and with doTERRA's powerful retention. That makes it so this process, this is all we do. And it's, it's very, very simple, but some people in other network marketing don't even understand that concept, right? They're like, oh, this is like putting the plug in the bathtub because I don't have to re-enroll all these people that are mm -hmm. leaving month after month right. after month. It's so powerful. We wouldn't want to do this business if that was the case, right? <laughs> no. So a little moment of, of history and time. If you want to, if you're saying to yourself, so how do we do catch them and keep them? How do we do this different in doTERRA? In an iconic moment, the first ever leadership training that doTERRA ever had, Justin Harrison, who we have the privilege of being in the room with, actually gave us what we would call our lather, rinse, repeat recipe here in doTERRA. So Justin, this is all you. Share this with us. <laughs> this is it. This is the whole event. After this slide, you can just go to work. Uh, <laughs> it's, true. it's true. This is, I mean, we're going to go through a lot of content, but really it all sums up on this slide right here. We use our products. Obvious, right? We should all be our own best customer. You know, there should not be a tube of toothpaste mm -hmm. from Crest or Colgate <laughs> or any of those other brands. I'm not supposed to name brand names, but you know what I mean. You know, there should not be different shampoos in the shower, right? You be your own best customer, number one. Number two, we're going to share because we love what we have because it's changed our lives. And then number three, we're gonna teach what we've experienced because there's a lot of people seeking solutions and we know that we can help in most areas of their lives. And so, and that is the whole cycle. And then repeat that, you share, teach, repeat, you share, teach, repeat. And thanks for coming guys, it was a great day. Um, glad you could be with us. And this was a shorter class than we planned. No. <laughs> Just kidding, we have a lot more to cover, but this does really sum it up. Okay, so that was really cool use share teach repeat, repeat. right mm -hmm. so one of the things that we're always looking for in everything we do in doTERRA when you share an oil with someone and they experience what you're teaching them will they walk away from a moment and say i can do that and our our intention for today is that in the time that we're together and the things that we'll share amongst ourselves that you will moment after moment after moment say to yourself i can do that mm -hmm. so the first grand experience of the day is can you do what justin just said use, use share, share teach, teach and repeat. repeat okay the repeat's really important by the way <laughs> <laughs> okay a little bit about the empowered success system right so you saw the pipes chart there out of the build guide displaying not only what types it is but also that there's guides that accompany that and so we call this whole thing that we're doing here you know Dave Sterling said we have three gears that move our business the gear of people the gear of product and the gear of the business so this is the gear of running the business which is empowered success and what's beautiful about empowered success is it just brings together the proven principles that have worked to build that business across cultures, across languages, you know, these are things that you can trust. So you don't need to trip up for how many years did we trip <laughs> up, right? Mm -hmm. You have this dialed in for you today um, by way of empowered success. And it's so beautiful to be able to have a program that's marketed for us, that's created for us by, you know, experts from lots of different fields, including our own field to be able to bring this content to you so you don't have to search in the beginning we were searching through 15 different programs trying to piecemeal these products so that we could present in a way that worked for us so i just feel so fortunate that we get to present to you a program that's created that you can trust and you can know that it's been formulated by experts by from the, all different by the field yeah. for the field right, right. yeah and casey some uh, some are asking where do they find the materials so there you go this is it right you go to doTERRA.com look under our advocates and then you'll see the empowered success there and you can you can go from there into each of the tools that's available and you can download them right there on the spot mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, or you can purchase them and i would recommend both. I recommend having a copy downloaded in case you need it. 
and then uh, purchasing them. It's it's crazy to me how affordable these are. DoTerra clearly doesn't really make any money on this stuff because the pricing is so low for 10 and 20 packs of these tools and guides. And so it's, it's cheaper to buy with your LRP yeah. and have it beautiful and printed so that mm -hmm. your yeah. approach, right? Our approach matches our powerful product. And these tools are powerful. But if you're just talking to someone online, you could just download it and share it with yeah, them. And they're PDFs, you can email them. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think it's important to realize that our business from start to finish is experiential. And so having an oil in your hand and smelling it is very different than someone just telling you about it. And so when somebody has a guide in their hands, you know, take the Healthy Can Be Simple guide, for example. It is a book of possibilities. And if somebody has it in their hand and they start flipping pages, they're going to find themselves in those pages. Same with the Live Guide. They're going to find themselves in the lifestyle that's before them. And so handing that to someone and making this a tangible experience whenever possible is fantastic. Now, just in case you're feeling amiss, because you weren't back in the day when Casey said we had nothing, <laughs> right? And we were <laughs> flying by the seat of our pants and Natalie, we were making up little word docs that were pretty <laughs> ugly, remember? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep. Then what I just want to offer something to all of you that what, what's super cool about being 10 years in and being where we are and having this level of organization is what we started with from the beginning is we're inviting you to have a life of freedom, time freedom, financial mm -hmm. freedom, travel freedom. And so you're welcome to go back to the dark ages or the caveman <laughs> stage and make up everything <laughs> totally yourself. Yeah. yeah, totally. And we invite you if you want to like Don't do it. go at the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could just understand with the simple pictures that sit in front of you, the wisdom of the ages of people who brought epic value to this project so that each of us, I here as a presidential double diamond, I want you to know that I am heavy recruiting right now. I am heavy building mm -hmm. because it's never been easier and it's never been more fun. And I, you know, you can get to the point where your team's pretty big and you have lots of people and you don't necessarily wake up in the morning and say, I can do that with new people. But I want you to know, I get out of bed every morning going, I can do this because I feel the simplicity of it. And I feel that the, the capacity to breathe life into this process is so streamlined and effective so we just want to share with you our passion for the value of what you have here mm -hmm. and just let's stick now with where we are so this is our and a you review. know like just on the guides we'll mention some of those guides are already translated you're going to find more guides translated so this can work for you whether your team is in your backyard english speaking or if they're speaking other languages you can access these and still share them and that allows us to have a mm -hmm. seamless training system across the world, doTERRA. So as you see before you, it's the same exact image that we showed you from the build guide. And we just want to take a principle. This actually came out of Harvard. And some of the greatest minds of Harvard are teaching us to look at the things in our life, like even your dining room table is something you hire to do a job for you, right? It's hired to be a gathering space in your home. Each of the guides are part of your staff. And there's something that you hire or a tool to help you build that pipeline that's producing the things that you dream of. So let's go through and talk about each guy just briefly and the job that it's been hired to do. This is so powerful because even if you don't have enough money to hire an assistant or da da da, like just with these guides, you're going to have the most powerful supports that you can have to do the key jobs that we do in doTERRA. So the Healthy Can Be Simple guide it just helps you share and invite it's all set up for that powerful the, the class is going to help you enroll prospects that's its job and the live share and build guide are designed to help you enroll people in lrp commit to build and commit to host launch is to help all of you reach elite as quickly as possible mm -hmm. and we're going to spend most of our time today in the launch guide while referencing different parts of the live, share, and build guides as well. I don't know about all of you, but I cannot quit smiling just <laughs> looking <laughs> at this. She's so happy. I'm so happy I can't even speak. Um, I just feel so grateful that we have these tools to use and to be able to build our business with. And I remember just in the beginning when we would teach classes or we'd share a product and what would end up happening is people would go home and they would text us at two o'clock in the morning asking us questions about the compensation plan or what they can make in their business. And it's just 
such a beautiful relief to know that we can give them or send them home with tools so that they can turn around and do exactly what we're doing. Why so. it's called empowered success, right? We're really yeah. empowering people. So you're going to be so empowered today and you have all these tools to help you empower others simply. So let's, let's remind ourselves where we are, right? We've been in the build guide mm -hmm. and we've now reached the last couple pages of build. And we want you to see where you are in the system and, and intentionally, how's the flow, generally speaking, for someone who's launching a business. So you saw the pipes diagram. And initially, somebody comes in as a consumer. Everybody's a consumer. To Natalie Goddard as her frontline mm -hmm. leader, Absolutely. I'm a consumer mm -hmm. every month with an LRP order. And so we want to make mm -hmm. sure, this is a checklist in build to ensure that the builder, which is you, mm -hmm. that we're talking to today, we want to make sure that you have had a natural solutions presentation experience, that you get the basics of essential oils and doTERRA and how to use them in your home and the categories that they fit in into your lifestyle. We want to make sure that you've had a lifestyle overview and you understand the value of the wellness lifestyle that doTERRA teaches through our wellness pyramid and you understand how our products are positioned and can be used in those aspects of your life. And then next, share. Share is that experience of inviting you to make that initial names list and get used to the aspects of hosting a presentation and setting you up for success there, bringing in your sphere of influence and thinking about people that you know that would be blessed by this process of you know, living this lifestyle. And then lastly, uh, because obviously again, we're in the build guide, so we're not showing the build guide as part of the process, we're coming to launch. So we're saying to you here today, hey, here's where we are in this process. Mm -hmm. That the expectation is in a builder's experience, we would hope by now when we're going into launch that you've seen live, natural solutions and share and you've had those experiences now we're going to review the few of those things but just know that's that's where the foundation we're at the that yeah. you're going to build on right because with that foundation you're ready to launch and the launch guide is going to take you through that process to launch to elite remember again it's it's job right is the job title we gave that guide mm -hmm. and so here we are now you see a pipe spread again and you think to yourself this looks pretty familiar and you're right, there's just a few changes. One in every rank guide, which the launch guide is the first of the series, each pipe spread in a rank guide serves also as a table of contents. So if you look closely here, you're gonna see a listing under each of the pipes activities with a title that is, this is the curriculum of this rank. So this is what we'll spend the rest of our day on is going through this curriculum and then see how each of the guides fit into that process. And above that here, where you see the bottle of oil, you're gonna notice this is a key stage and time for you to focus in on your belief in the product. Keep having experiences with the product, keep using you know, different parts of the product line. And then your action is very clear. The guide itself is gonna show you how to share with 45 plus, enroll 15 and launch one to three builders. And that's your focus here. And through this process, you're going to change lives, grow personally, and create some amazing residual income. So this is an incredible process. You can see the big vision here and a little bit, even the timeline, right? So prepare and invite. Sometimes, you know, that's key to happen before your launch month. Maybe October is your launch month. Great. You can do the prepare, prepare and invite parts. In even less than 24 hours, you can do that in a few hours if you focus in. But this will keep you um, on on target with the actions to get launched. I think that's so critical, Natalie, that a lot of people maybe miss this, mm -hmm. is that the secret to the successful launch month, the month that you're going to go elite, mm -hmm. that you're going to shoot for premiere, silver, whatever your goal is, that that actually starts before, mm -hmm. right? It's before that month. It's mm -hmm. the prep time. If you are deciding on day one of the new month, well, let's see, what are we going to do this month to go elite, then you've already missed the boat, right? It's going to be harder. I'm not saying you can't do it because you can, mm -hmm. but it's going to be way more effective and way more probable if you implement that one to two week pre-launch that's there. It's so, so important. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's the most important about that process, because truly you could decide in a minute to just do this and right. get going. Totally. The primary reason for the one to two week lead time is people schedule their lives out. Right. Now you might be willing to be Johnny on the spot, it's your prospects that we're the most cognizant here, mm -hmm. is what are your prospect schedules and how much can they work with you on the fly? Mm -hmm. So by planning a week or two, and generally you know, it doesn't have to be further out than that, but planning 
those times that you've set aside in your life to offer those natural solutions presentations and then making sure that they can set aside that time that's the critical part so even again you're you're in your launch month then right now you're looking ahead and you're planning things out for that you know the following weeks in the month of october or wherever you're at i love I love this because if we just dial it into what are the five steps to launch, it's the same steps that the whole empowered success system is built on. It's always going to be the answers are it always is going to be prepare, invite, present, enroll and support. And it's no different in launching your business. And it really doesn't change no matter what rank you're shooting for. So when you start to look at the other guys moving forward after you hit elite and you're moving to you know, silver or gold or diamond, you're going to be doing the same exact activity. Yeah. So it's just honing in on a different aspect of that. So as we dive into this step one, um, we look close at what, what it is to prepare us in launch. I love this part. This is such, you know, there's a great quote that I heard recently that your preparation for your action is as important or more important than your action. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we can't say too much about preparing. So if you'll turn to page four in your launch guide, we come to this feel your launch page. Now we kind of have some fun with some rocket analysis here. And if you study rockets, they say it takes 80% of its fuel to get off the ground, right? And then you're creating a momentum. I love that Casey brought up the repeated pattern of pipes throughout all the ranks because it's on the rank of elite that really all of doTERRA's success is founded. And so getting this recipe down, it's going to be what Justin said, that's where the repeat's gonna come in, right? Is you're gonna turn after you hit your goal and you're gonna turn and support other people in hitting there. So really understanding how to feel a launch is such a great, great experience. So one of the things we wanna help you recognize is pay attention to the three sections on the upper portion of this page. The first column is success begins with you. Now there are three things here that are stated on this page that are an essential part of a success. First of all, if you're going to do this, would you like to get paid? <laughs> 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 right? And so because we get fast start money and we get monthly checks, it's absolutely imperative without exception that you consistently have a 100 PV or greater LRP template set. Now, of course, the day before your order runs, you can go in and you can change it. Nevertheless, it must always contain 100 PV in, in your template, right? That, that holds you in a commitment space so that you can always, you can always be subject to earning. Yeah, that's so powerful um, to get set up right that way so you never have to wonder about that and that's just in place. And next, you're gonna want to implement a daily wellness plan. People will feel if you really use the product and if you're a product of the product they'll feel that right so <clears> you <throat> implementing that into your daily life is going to be key so as you pop into the live guide um, on page 16 it's going to take you through that daily wellness plan so you can set that up right so you can see how each of these pieces are coming together to support you and we're kind of having a duality of experience here. We're talking to you as the consumer that you are and that developing that relationship with yourself as a consumer in doTERRA is an important part of how you launch because being a product of the product is what gives you the courage to go out and share this with other people and invite them to do the same. Notice here, because we're going to talk about it, that the live guide, remember, is part of your staff and its job is to enroll people in LRP. Now, in the words of one of our great leaders in doTERRA, this is the second enrollment. And this is the magic. This is the secret sauce in doTERRA, where, which is why our retention is so high. It's why we have such solid residual income. Again, I can't even say enough about looking back over 10 years and seeing what we did those oh, many yeah. years ago and how it's still. Can you imagine still, if we would have had this 10 years right? ago? Even <laughs> five years ago, even three years ago. We still have, have five billion dollars. We have such huge staying power. So there's, there's some very specific things that this guide is designed to do for you. So don't rob yourself of that experience. Make sure you're having that and then pay that forward. Uh, and this is going to show you um, more of how you can bring these products into your life and begin up-leveling your own wellness, right? Um, love this wellness pyramid. It's so key to what we do. It is the foundation of our entire experience in doTERRA, right? 
focusing primarily on lifestyle. And you'll see that the guide follows along, the LibGuide follows each section. And we're not going through each section today in this course, uh, but we would invite you to do that if you haven't. And also for those of you that have teams that, that are up and established already and running, um, we would invite you to make sure that your team members have gone through the LibGuide as well, because we've discovered that many of our existing customers and even wellness advocates haven't done this process yet. And it really does walk through, you know, these are the products I need to have, like the life and vitality, you know, in the eating, right? These are the products that are gonna help with my exercise and weight management. These are the products that help with my rest, sleep, managing stress, reducing toxic load and so forth, right? So it really builds to the LRP. And, you know, I love it when people, in case I'm sure you've heard this, I just don't know how I would ever use $100 a month in yeah. product, right? <laughs> don't you love that question? Yeah. It's just like, okay, well, soon you're gonna say, I don't know how I could keep it under 200, yeah. right? And it's <laughs> that's gonna be more of the reality for sure. And it's just because they don't know yet, right? So this creates uh, that opportunity to go through and have that experience and have a wellness consult, which is included in the live guide and really zero in on the products they should be using. Mm -hmm. And I think the wellness pyramid really is the beauty of why we love doTERRA so much mm -hmm. is that it focuses on the whole use. So it's not just focusing on one aspect, it's the entire package, which I just feel so fortunate to be able to share. So mm -hmm. make sure that you are really confident and comfortable with this when you're speaking to people about what to add in their LRP or the products that are right for their family. And the, the last part of this success begins with you is just uh, learn more by regularly using an oil reference guide. And so whether that's a physical book that you have to use mm -hmm. or an app that you can access, do that and participate in continuing education so that you're your product knowledge is just increasing. Do you need to know everything? No, <laughs> please don't wait till you know everything. None of us would even be doing that, Tara, right? <laughs> right. But, but the truth is, if you'll just start with what you know, that's enough. And just keep continuing that as you go so you can keep empowering people more and more. So now we transition into Sharing Changes Lives. And um, the share guide is gonna be so key for you here. You know, the job of the share guide is committing to host and helping someone to commit to host. But you should know the share guide is the heart of what we do in doTERRA. You know, those you've, you've had someone share the oils with you and you know what a powerful part that is in this process. We call the share guide the soft launch mm. guide and um, it's gonna help you become more prepared to share right it's gonna it's gonna help um you become more capable to share and also as you use it with other people it's going to be this filter so that you can see those that are committed and capable as well um super easy to share what you love with those you love and this share guide keeps it really simple so that you can be preparing that list to invite to classes or one-on-ones and just see the results of that sharing. Can I just comment on this really quickly, Natalie? Mm -hmm. um, we are so blessed in doTERRA to have the product that we have because um, so many companies, it's not that their products are bad, um, they're generally not, but it's so much more effort to sell, right, the product because you've gotta, you've gotta really explain or really, I mean, it's just a lot of work, right? And because of our product line and the efficacious nature of the essential oils and the fact that they work often immediately, it just makes our job so much easier. And which is part of the reason for our high retention rates, right? Mm -hmm. And so we are all huge consumers of the product. You know, it's, it's not like if you went to go buy a car and you went to a Ford dealership and the Ford salesman, you see him leave later and he's driving off in a Chevy, you know, <laughs> and, and nothing against Chevys, but, but wouldn't you like wonder, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, you're selling Ford, yet you're driving a Chevy, this doesn't add up. Well, that doesn't happen here. You, you are guaranteed that every leader in this company of which you are one, um, we are sharing because we love the results and benefit of the product. So as we dive deeper here into SHARE, it's just 
three simple things. We simply share, right? And, and you know, you hear people talk about the product sells itself. Well, that's because you just share the product and people want it and they can feel the power of it. And then you invite and then you simply remind. And that is the key to oh, our man. inviting pipe. That's, mm -hmm. It's that simple. And this page in share, the whole white section at the top takes you through that step by step with some sample scripts. You'll see all the blue text, that's sample scripts. So if you're thinking, I don't know exactly where to go with this, well, mm -hmm. it's laid out for you there. You can just read that, customize it a little bit, or read it word for word when you're on the phone. And I think when we talk, you know, commonly I get asked, well, how do you share? And my instant response is just listen. So I feel like people commonly speak about the things that are going on in their lives. So they like to speak about their emotional well-being, their physical well-being, their financial well-being, and we truly have a solution for all of those. So mm -hmm. all I ask of you and ask of my team members is just to listen. Mm -hmm. And that makes the sharing process really, really simple. And mm -hmm. then you get to start applying the oils and really working your magic. If, if I could just make one point of emphasis here, if there's any one skill, mm -hmm. and I'm sure ladies, you would agree with this, if there's any one skill, just one, just mm -hmm. one, that you could really master and really get good at, mm -hmm. that will just cause your business to thrive, that's, the, that's inviting, mm -hmm. right? Invite, sharing, inviting, same thing, right? Inviting someone to a class, inviting someone to have a product experience, inviting mm -hmm. someone to a webinar, a conference call, to a meeting, whatever it is, that skill of inviting, and that's why these scripts are so helpful, and then we've taken it a step further and we even have some great inviting tools, mm -hmm. right? Like the Healthy Can Be Simple. Right. Justin, can you go back one? I wanna just hit on the, the sharing part. If you understand how, you know, we know it's natural, right? But these are some of the ways that you can share, right? You can share just a little bit of your story. You can put an oil on someone, you know, I always have oils in my purse, so I've mm -hmm. got that ready and set so I can give someone an oil experience. Um, sometimes you might have a sample prepared or drop off a sample to someone um, and then sharing online. Like, you know, right now we have incredible online content that we mm -hmm. can share, right? You could share segments of convention if you wanted to share That's that. That's right. They're available right now. Yeah. But that is basically getting integrated into your life and you can share that anytime, anywhere, just be prepared, right? So this is gonna be a key part for you. <coughs> for this to come naturally, you just need to be prepared. So you've got those oils in your purse. Maybe you have a little keychain with samples prepared so you can share from that, or you've got some doTERRA prepackaged samples there for you. And um, maybe you've got a list of your favorite videos mm -hmm. that you can share. I, I just have, hey, these are my go-tos, mm -hmm. right? doTERRA's um, YouTube channel is an incredible place to find that. So you can just keep priming people all the time <laughs> so that that sharing is happening. That's gonna help you build trust and make connections so that um, we just get people in the seats, as you would yeah. say, Justin. That's right, butts in the seats. <laughs> <laughs> so, this Healthy Can Be Simple guide is a super simple way to share along with this process. We use this on airplanes, use this in dropping off samples. It's gonna teach a very basic, I mean, this is like the essentials of a class mm -hmm. right here on this very first spread. Right, what I love about this is the whole purpose of it is really to create curiosity, mm -hmm. right? You, you, you don't wanna give too much, right? Because then they don't wanna know more. And the most important thing we want is we want them to know more. We want them to want more. <laughs> We want them to know more too. That's right. Yeah. So it's just really a teaser, right? This is a teaser. So this accompanied with a sample, and there's a lot of pages in this this little booklet that go through various different aspects of our health, right? But it's a uh, it's super super effective. And then uh, here's an example of one of them. You've got a, a side one side talking about immune support, another side talking about green cleaning. I know there's um, seven or eight different themes throughout the little booklet. Again, just to sp spark curiosity. And then ultimately the back cover, back page is the invitation, right? It's the, uh, this is my information. This is how to connect. These are the essential oils that 
we've talked about for whatever the issue is that maybe that person is having. A sample of, right. And how to use it. This is great just to drop off with those samples because then yeah. you've got it built in. Yeah, and then one one thing here, just a tip, as you're sharing this with someone and, and sharing a sample or a tool, um, make sure that you collect their information. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's very important. I can't tell you how many of us, myself included, have missed that one. And uh, we'll give away oils and samples and we'll think, gosh, I'd like to reach out to them, but you know, I don't have any of their contact info, so I can't do it. So it's really important uh, to not give any of this away without getting an email or cell number or some kind of contact information so that you can come full circle and make sure they use the product, the sample you left mm -hmm. them, they watch the video, uh, you know, to come back and follow up. In our day, phone and text is a really powerful way to follow up. And so yes. what I love to do is just say, hey, can I grab your phone number so I can send you a little video that you exactly. really enjoy. Exactly. And that becomes a really easy way to get that phone number and have that to follow up. Yeah, I want to send you yeah. a video clip. Yep, yep. Can Without I text, sounding threatening. Can I text you a video yeah. clip? And, and everyone, it's not threatening and it's very, and exactly. this is especially effective um, for men when talking to women, right? Because we don't want to come across as, as in a way that we're not trying to come across, right? <laughs> right. And so it's, it's just, we want to keep it very low key, very casual. Hey, I'd love to send you a little video clip. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I text it to you? Or if they don't want to text, we can email it to them as well. So it's crucial that you make sure that you tell them how to use the oils. I don't know how many times I've given out a sample and I'll follow up. And, you know, in the heat of the moment, you're so excited about sharing lavender or deep blue. And then they get home with a sample and they have no idea. They right. instantly put it on the bottom of their feet, even though their neck hurts. Um, you know, <laughs> so it's like, Make sure that you give them clear direction, you know, every three hours, apply or whatever you recommend. What we think is understood isn't always understood. That's so right. fill in that how to use yeah. section. And then we move right into sharing your story. You know, this is one of the powerful parts of sharing. And sometimes you might just be on the phone and not be able to get oils on someone, but you can share your story in that moment. So in shaping your story, you're you're gonna frame the glory in that story, right? The the breakthrough where you um, where you moved from pain to breakthrough, right? And so um, I love how this page in the share guide is gonna prepare you for that, and it just asks you these questions. So we want to um, give you this experience to shape your story right now. And so we're gonna take a few minutes so that you can answer these questions and, and get really clear on your story. In the end, we're gonna, we're gonna take the time to just write out these answers and then you can shape that into your story. So first, just take a minute to answer these questions. And we won't be playing music because it feedbacks, sorry. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's right. It's not Jeopardy. That's right. <laughs> Um, I, I would just, as you're reading these questions, I don't want to um, interrupt too much, but just a couple of tidbits. Um, when sharing our stories, we want them to be short. That's important, I think, because I don't know if any of you ever had someone, um, you know, take 10 minutes to tell you a story that could have been told in 30 seconds. It just, it, it becomes uh, too much. And so it needs to be short. It needs to be factual. Uh, the truth is good enough. It really is. We, there's no need to exaggerate. Yeah, you did not take slim and sassy and lose 30 pounds in three hours. You know, it did not happen, right? And so be factual in the information that you're sharing. The truth is absolutely good enough. And then uh, be relevant in the story that you're sharing. I mean, it needs to have a point that's relevant to the current situation or current discussion at hand. So just maybe keep those in mind as you're uh, going through some of these questions. Yeah, and I think one additional thing just to add to that is that we can all attest that we've had many, many experiences. So I even like to frame my story a little bit around who I'm speaking to. So if I'm speaking to a mom that's child is struggling with something, then I'm probably going to be more specific with my story that relates to my kiddos versus going off and maybe my own personal journey. So that's also another option to throw out there. So you may, from this story, develop you know, your product story, mm -hmm. and then you might have an opportunity story, right? 
to kind of notice that some of these questions could go could go both ways, right? Um, but if you have one of of those stories ready to share, um, then you can address the people's needs mm -hmm. that you're connecting with. It's also <clears throat> goodness, sorry. It's also a great idea to have a, a 30 second version mm -hmm. of your story mm -hmm. and you know a two minute version and maybe a five minute version where you go more in detail. Perhaps perhaps you're asked to share your experience, your story at a leadership conference or even at convention or at any number of events, right? That's gonna be a little bit longer version yeah. of your story. But if you only have moments with someone, it's gonna be the short, you know, 30 second version. And so that those are also good things to keep in mind. And I think it's good to start out with your 30 second and your two minute version. So get the foundation of it right here mm -hmm. and then we're gonna shape it. And I know some of you have somebody in the room with you so the best way to shape our story and to to get good at this story right is to literally practice it right so we're going to invite you to do a role play right now if nobody's there with you it's okay look just, in the mirror just kind of start <laughs> voicing it out or reading what you wrote down or dialing that in um looking in the mirror is great right? yeah look in the mirror at you so turn to the person next to you or look in your mirror and share your story. Do it now. This can be a lot of fun. 60 seconds and then we'll switch. Okay, guys, if, uh, if you haven't switched, go ahead and switch uh, partners. And uh, or the, whoever was sharing is now the receiver, and whoever was receiving is now the sharer. That's a great time to practice your listening skills, right? So if it's your turn to listen, really listen and take it in. This is a skill you're going to develop in doTERRA. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's your turn to share, drop into your heart and, and share your real story. Be authentic. We love authenticity in our day. We, we're to the day of authenticity. So switch and share. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, let's uh, now that you've shared, we're going to uh, ask for a volunteer, someone who is super brave. They put their new brave oil on, 
to um, share your story with all of us, uh, thousands of people, just to make it more intense for you uh, watching the webinar or the recording. So if anyone wants to share just their brief and under one minute, their story, raise your hand. And um, hopefully your microphone is plugged in and working, but raise your hand and we will come to you and um, unmute your line. And look, we're just gonna go with the first hand raised was Jennifer, oh, where'd you go, Jennifer? There you are. Jennifer Anderson, hold on a second, Jennifer, it moved on me, there we go. Okay, Jennifer, okay. we can okay. hear you. Please you can share. hear me? Okay, yes. um, really, I my interest, I, I, I thought about this, really my interest goes back to my college days and my political science degree that taught me to always look look and see what the research says. So as I became a young mom, I learned a lot about natural childbirth. I, I thought when I went to have my babies, I wanted to say, what is, I, I, went, I approached it as, what does the research say is best? And so I, um, what I found is low intervention is, is key in healthy births. Then I went on and um, in 2005, I had some serious health issues and I learned a lot about gut health and that's when I really learned about natural solutions. In 2010 I had a strong feeling to go back to nursing school and while in nursing school as I'm as I'm learning I was learning great things but I I knew that there were better options out there and while I was in nursing school I had heard of doTERRA actually and I thought I need to check this company out and so I graduated uh, five years ago in 2013 and my friend my very good friend we were at lunch one day and I she was telling me about this business that she was doing and it was doTERRA and I was like so excited and so she shared one of the the small sample kits with me um, the the one that has the the three five milliliters in. And so really the last five years I've been using, getting familiar with the products and I've, I've shared, I haven't built a whole lot and I'm at a place now where I'm ready to build because I love these products. I love the company. I love the people in the company and they stand for everything that I stand for as a health professional. And it really ties into my, my personal and professional interests. So that's my story. Awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. So, so Jennifer, um, can we do a little bit of um, positive reinforcement for your story? Sure, that'd be great. All right. Yeah, I okay. love how you dialed in on, you know, this is my journey and this is what I was passionate about. And this is the problem that I saw in the world, you know, and this is where I had pain did a great job hitting on that and the realities of it yeah thank you uh, I, when i'm sharing i'm always looking for what's in it for them right because they're every, we all listen to the same radio station in our heads it's wii fm what's in it for me <laughs> right right, right. I, I, FM. and so when we're sharing regardless of the story whether it's about a product experience or about our business whatever it is uh, on a subconscious level the person listening is listening for what is in it for me what is the benefit in it for me so we have to kind of keep that in our mind when we're sharing i think you did a great job of that uh, but just to reiterate for the whole group everyone listening that that has to be our underlying uh, focus in the storytelling is what's the purpose of it for the new person so uh that's great feedback that's great feedback thank you and it's going to be so great because what pain does everyone else have too, right? What pain did doTERRA take care of for you? It gave you a vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. I want to know what more it took care of for you, you know? Why? Okay. Why did I care? And really hitting on that. So condensing down more of your story to, to a little bit shorter so you can hit that two-minute mark. Mm -hmm. and okay and telling me what other pain. I want to know what other pain it took care of for you. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks Thank you. So Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, there's an old Indian proverb that says um, that the person that shares the best stories rules the world. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. This will be another skill. We talked about inviting being a number one skill to master. 
well, part of that is stories. It really is. We live in a world where stories yeah. change lives, and stories is what people remember. So if people get good with this, then you've got your short story to share when you're sharing oils or when you're on the phone. You've got it at all times. And so just take the time to shape that. You've got a great start today um, and keep shaping that story. Well, and I think it even just comes back to really listening to your audience. You know, everything I do just comes back to that concept of just being a really, really great listener. And as we're sharing a story, it generally should be relating to, you know, the people that we're speaking to. So I love that advice that you just shared with Jennifer that it's make sure that you're hitting on the pain spot almost of who you're talking to. Like, why do they want this? Um, so that's just, it's so crucial to make sure you're listening and relate back to them. And what's so fun at this stage is if you, if you are just sharing your story, that's really your part in the presentation even, right? Mm -hmm. um, no matter who you are, there is a, there's a DVD, there's a online presentation that you can share even if you don't have an upline nearby that's gonna help with your class or even you know somebody else in your community that's doing doTERRA that you can um, go see, you know, a few classes that they're teaching your part um, right now at this stage doesn't need to be teaching classes but it can be sharing your story at the beginning of a class let's say you're hosting a class you're going to be sharing your story at the very beginning um, you'll you'll introduce yourself say you know why i've invited you here today and then you'll share your story and then you'll be able to edify the presenter and and this page just goes over a little bit of what your part is right and it's going to be a little bit different if you're sitting down with someone one-on-one -on -one, um you're going to prepare a little differently but then you would a class right but this is just going to give you those key points so you don't have to kind of play it out all in your mind and foresee everything and know know all of that but you can just hone in on these key bullet points and it's going to set you up for success and along the bottom, you'll see that ideal timeline so that you know, oh, hey, to hold a class, you know, I'm going to be sharing experiences, oil experiences with people. I'm going to be sharing my story, all of that, um, you know, a week to 10 days prior to set that class up for success. And that just gives you a quick overview so you can kind of see, oh, I get this, where this is all coming together. I will. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. And it's just so important to understand that we have the tools to make us be the experts. Mm -hmm. So I know for the first couple of years when I was sharing the product, I shared merely from passion of my heart because it was changing my life and it was changing my kiddos' lives. And I was seeing so many things change in my home. I didn't have a clue about the science, but I was very effective on finding the solutions if somebody had a question. So if somebody came to me and asked me a scientific question that you know, blew over my head. Um, I can't even think of anything because yeah. I'm still not an expert in that. What, what's a sesquiterpene? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I knew where to send them and I knew how to find the resource that they could use. So just know that these tools are created so that you do have the confidence and you can have the confidence to go out and share and feel like an expert. Just to comment on the timeline down there, um, it's, it's super effective that we do that reminder, that two to four hour reminder, or the 48 hour reminder. Those are because we're all busy and a lot of people just get busy and honestly forget or get distracted. And so that reminder via text, especially um, email is great, but a lot of people miss emails, don't read emails. They go into the garbage folder or the trash folder. And so text is the best. And one thing that works really well that we've seen is if you actually text the person, you know, at that 48 hour reminder, ask them what they would like to learn right? What question would they like to have answered at the event? Because guess what happens? They show up to get the answer, <laughs> right? And so ask them, hey, we're having a natural solutions class. What's the number one thing that you would like addressed in that class? And, and literally, they're giving you the bait to put on the hook, right? Because they're going to tell you, well, I'd really like to know about how I could overcome this issue. Well, they just told you, what you should talk about in your class, right? At least for a minute, right? Yes. And so it's super, super effective. And, and you may be doing some, you know, hosting some product presentations. You may also be hosting some business presentations. 
to find people that are interested in the business, you're going to be going that route. And this just kind of walks you through that process of edifying and sharing your story at the very beginning. And then you're going to help with the inviting to enroll. You know, sometimes um, in initial stages, people, um, this, this part is key. You want to be in that inviting stage so you're helping them move towards enrollment, not saying, oh, yeah, you don't need to get a kit or <laughs> something like that. Um, you're, you're key in that inviting process and then your follow-up support. And you'll see there with the blue text, more of that just scripting of your follow-up, you know, after the class when, when people um, maybe didn't enroll at the class, these are some great follow-up pieces. So this just hones in on your part of the presentation. And the back part of the share guide just helps um, see the way we can change more lives. And, you know, just kind of introduces compensation just a little bit and gives them the option to change their future. Every one of the, the guides, the key guides in Empowered Success is going to have like a branch at the end, right? They can just keep on sharing and they can change a few lives that way or you can change your future by building the business. So now we've, we've really gone into, you know, both these first two steps and, and you've got this solid foundation to launch your business on and we've hit on building your dreams in, in the very beginning, right? And one key um, that's noted there on building your dreams, you want to make sure that you have your upline team support and that key support outlined and then that you're connected to other um, whether it's a team call or just a fa Facebook group um, so that you have that community or support that you're connected to, right? And then we're just going to drop right into your goals um, that, that you want to set for the next, you know, when it, what is your goal to reach elite? And if you'll just, we're on page four of the launch guide, you know, just circle. Do you want to hit it in 30 days? or 60 days or 90 days. <laughs> I love that it says outrageous for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have not noticed that before until just now. That's great. And 60 days is a target and 90 days is an average. Well, and you should know whatever you're to, most drawn to, what might be outrageous for some is very realistic for another, right? Right. So. And if you're already an elite, you know, going through yep. this launch camp, obviously make the correction, you know, in this goal setting, right, goal. to Premier mm -hmm. or Silver, wherever you are, uh, you know, make the correction and write it down. But it is important to have um, that goal set for sure. Well, and, and this, you know, first you're working with that really short term, short range goal, and then we're going to move to the 90 day goal, right? Because, you know, what's your goal for the next 90 days, 90 days from now? So, mm -hmm. We're on October 1st. Where are you yeah. going to be? It, and the 90 day thing actually works really good. Yeah. Really good. Uh, we all know what New Year's resolutions are, right? We've all done them. Yeah. And um, I love, I, I, I go to the gym. I love 90 day resolutions, or I'm sorry, the one year New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. But people will start strong January and by February they're gone, right? They don't show up again. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is because a year is hard for us to like visualize and focus on. But when we break it into 90 day increments, mm -hmm. it's very comfortable, it's seasonal, right? Yep. You get four seasons mm -hmm. of a year, you have quarters of a year, that 90 day thing is just very comfortable at a, at a core level, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. so it's a great, a great focus. So if you have that just a short term goal, the 90 day goal, and then also a one year goal, mm -hmm. this gives you this breadth of vision to move from while also being able to back it out. So if you can just go in your mind one year from now, where do you wanna be? Um, how much do you wanna be making a month? Uh, what do you want your rank to be? And then later on, you can just back out from that. Let's give them a few minutes. Let's do that. Let's take opportunity. Let me go back to that, whoops. There we go. Um, let's take opportunity to just go ahead and, and write this in your launch guide. If you don't have a launch guide in front of you, write it on a paper. Someplace you're going to make it visible. Um, 
it's very important that the goal be specific, that it be measurable, uh, attainable. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to have a timeline to it. You know, saying a lot of people I'll meet will say, well, I, I need to lose weight. My goal is to lose weight. Well, that's not a goal. That's a wish. Uh, a goal is I want to lose 20 pounds by December 30th, mm -hmm. right? That's a goal because it has a measurable date, timeline, and uh, so forth. And so, um, yeah, specific, measurable, attainable, uh, time frame and uh, that whole uh, smart process, right? Mm So what's beautiful about this, you may be looking around you thinking, okay, what should I do? You know, but the truth is the, the best answer answers are within you, right? You know, um, even if you don't know all the ranks in doTERRA or what's common, um, you'll know what's right for you. And I love how you can go back to that initial spread in the build guide. Um, that talks about the incomes and you'll recognize that it's got the multi colors across it and kind of goes into a mountain and and talks about all the ways that we make income in doTERRA and on that spread you'll see across the bottom the average time to hit ranks so if you're looking for some averages to refer to um a lot of those have people that decided to build four years mm -hmm. in or whatever so right. it it looks like it takes longer than it typically does, especially with a streamlined process and the way we've dialed in with the system. But trust trust your instincts and your intuition and work with your mentor or your upline to kind of dial in on these goals as well. Also, also take advantage of what the current environment is in doTERRA. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, if you're watching this live today, October 2nd, or you're watching the recording, you know, I mean, the company just launched an, a fabulous promotion. Oh my goodness. We're all like kind of in shock over it. And that's going to drive a lot of volume throughout this month. And so factor that into <laughs> your best, goal. Best month to hit a oh my gosh. I, I think uh, a lot of people are really looking at new ranks this month mm -hmm. because that promotion is going to help fuel that. Right. So, so factor those types of things in to your goal setting because they, they have a huge impact. And even your 90 day goal, you know, that's end of November or end of December. So right. December is these next three, quickly, three months right now. Hopefully mm -hmm. that's our frankincense. Month. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's move. Now we've got our goal set. This, this part, you'll notice this is key, right? This is on the very first of this launch. And if you get nothing more, from this launch training then that you are a solutions provider. Um, this is some of the most valuable awareness that you could ever have. So right here, um, you know, we share a new kind of healthcare and this, and we connect people to solutions. And really, this is all about listening that Casey's been focusing in on, right? It's all about understanding people's problems and pain so that we can bring solutions to the table. But if you'll make this about them and finding solutions for them, mm -hmm. I love um, Kathy Pace. She's a blue diamond on our team. And she always says, I feel like Santa Claus in doTERRA, <laughs> right? <laughs> because I get to come around with the best gifts ever, right? the best gifts that really solve real world problems, right, in people's lives. And, and honestly, what we do is connect people to these solutions. We invite other people to become a solutions provider and we show them how to get the oils in their home so that they can be that solutions provider. 
So we like to say, um, this is perfect. You can just kind of memorize it, right? With a book, right? Whether it's this doTERRA essentials book that they're gonna get with their first kit or an essential oil reference guide with a book and a box of oils, you're prepared to address 80% of health priorities in your home, right? And how powerful is that? We are empowering and bringing those solutions to people's homes. I love how Empowered Success is just helping you be set up to be able to be that solutions provider, right? So whether you're using the guides, the class handout, um, these supports that are gonna help you in this process. And as you're doing this, you wanna just commit and schedule your pipes activities in, right? Set apart this time because really the things that we value, we put our time into. You'll show what you value in your life by where you invest your time. Absolutely, and some, some tips, be authentically you. Um, you know, people can tell, when, when you're not being sincere, people can feel it, they can sense it, and they shut off, they turn off. And so be authentically, you naturally share your experiences, right? Um, create a positive experience for them, you know, invite them to learn more. A, a product demonstration or sample or experience, putting wild orange on their hands, mm -hmm. right at the moment of sharing is really effective or oil of choice, whatever it is that meets their need, right? Mm -hmm. Oftentimes it might be past tense or deep blue or number of other oils. And so um, use that in, in the invitation process, but it, create that. And, and we mentioned this a little bit earlier, these are the four essential skills. We talked about inviting already being number one, right? That if you master any of these four, number one is gonna be the most important. But also you wanna look at your skills as a teacher and, and we teach more of this down the road in the train guide and subsequent guides, um, but teaching about the product and the business, following up uh, in the lifestyle overviews and following up for questions, providing support. And then number four, walking people through this launch guide, uh, maybe through a launch camp, if you will, and supporting them in uh, any ways that are necessary. And so this guide is going to provide you with details on how to effectively engage in the essentials of, of launching your business. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna move right into just that scheduling, right? Your time, this is helping you prepare and set you up for success. And if you look at this calendar right here, we're gonna dive right. So again, yeah, we're on the next spread of launch, so pages six and seven. And as we dive into this calendar, you're gonna see on this launch month, we're gonna, you know, yeah, you can bring all this love and sharing <laughs> and everything, but if you have some parameters you can think about, wow, okay, if my 200 PV is my average enrollment, I'm gonna need 15 enrollments to get to a 3,000 PV of elite, right? And so we're gonna start scheduling in these key pieces so that you can accomplish that, right? Um, so you'll notice, right, you're seeing some one-on-ones, some classes um, that, are, that are scheduled in, and you're gonna get those big rocks in of the classes and the one-on-ones that you wanna hold um, just right off the bat. And I also like to go back to just when you initially made that goal of your 30 day, that you are really mindful of things that are happening within your month and that you schedule that out. Mm -hmm. um, so if you know that you're gonna be gone for Thanksgiving, then you can mark out mm -hmm. Wednesday through Sunday so that it really gives you a true idea of how many days you have to work with within yeah. a month, it's crucial. And I love at this point, it's so important to remember this quote by Robert Louis Stevenson, right? We are planting seeds. This is not a time of harvesting just yet. We're sharing right. samples, we're planting seeds so that these classes are set up for success, so that enrollments naturally follow because we've, we've invited powerfully. One great thing about this, you can predict, Natalie, I can predict, yep. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Mm -hmm. I can predict your success, future coming, mm -hmm. if you showed me your calendar. Wow. Right, if you let me look at your calendar, now I've seen your calendar. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, maybe this is a bad example, but, 
when we're working, uh, look at your calendar. If it's empty, um, well, there you go, right? It's That's going to predict your next month. It's, it's true. And, and through this process, you know, in your calendar, in your phone, wherever it is that you're tracking your time, you have got to set apart this time. I know that if I put in, you know, hey, I'm going to do my prepare in the mornings, you know, right. as soon as the kids get off to school, that's my prepare time. Mm -hmm. And then where are my blocks of inviting? Where are my blocks mm -hmm. of presenting these classes? And um, where am I going to enroll and follow up? and do my support and your support should be really light at this point right that we're just working on expanding your reach and through this month you're going to see that's kind of a funnel right so through this funnel there's actually a hundred people in this funnel that you see and you see how i'm preparing lots of people so maybe you started out with a list of a hundred people doesn't matter really where you start only that you are I'm sharing with and inviting about 45 people so that then you're presenting to about 30 and a, this is even low mm -hmm. to yeah. say that mm -hmm. you would enroll 15. So even if you're just starting out and you make lots of mistakes and you only enroll half of the people that you present to, you're going to enroll 15, which will set you up for elite and um, statistically about three of those will be people that want to build and you right. can support those builders and keep in mind guys uh, some a lot of you are new and you're not going to be the one doing the presentation right you're going to be welcoming edifying a presenter and they're going to be taking on the role of teacher in the class right but i love these numbers natalie because it, it actually thwarts a misperception oh, yeah. that there's a misperception out there that you can't be successful in doTERRA unless you've enrolled hundreds and personally enrolled, you know, hundreds or thousands of people yourself. Mm -hmm. And I know as we've met as leaders, we've actually done interviews and asked those questions. And, mm -hmm. and when you look at the diamonds and bloom presidential diamonds, um, there are a few out there that have enrolled hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. There are, but the majority have not, mm -hmm. right? The majority are under a hundred, some of them under 50, mm -hmm. right? And they're presidential diamond or above. And so, I love this because it points out that, yeah, you got to invite some people, um, but it's very realistic, right? Yeah. And if you follow this process, you can trust that you're going to arrive. Right. <laughs> what we're talking about. Yeah. This is, these are the steps. And so be in that process and trust the process. So again, just reiterating this with kind of a checklist. So you've got those 45 people invited to attend a class. You've scheduled the three main classes or 15 one-on-ones. And of course you can do a combination of that. And then you're setting apart those time blocks to invest in your business um, and hold those sacred. We know, mm -hmm. you know, I have people that treat doTERRA like a hobby and they get hobby results. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if you'll really honor that time that you're investing in the business, you'll get where you want to go. And I would look at, you know, just take number two seriously, that we are providing for you a number right here. So we're telling you exactly what you need to be doing. So you need three classes for 15 one-on-ones. The average class brings in about five people. So that's how they break that down. So you've got the tool to run with. So make sure that you are very mindful of this number. One thing on the bottom of this page, page six. Now, if you don't know what to do at any time, throughout this process, you know, like this month, you get a few days in and you're like, what do I do today? I want you to come back to this list and ask yourself who has these needs, who has, who can I take care of here? And then you're going to go about scheduling that and planning and executing that. Awesome. So on the page right next to this, we've got the success tracker. And this is really, you know, I, we were launching a new builder and they were like, wow, how do you track all these people? Because people love the oils and yet every person is in a different process. And this is a really simple way to track it. Of course, you can use your phone or something like that if that's how you track it. But if you'll just dial in on these top prospects that you're sharing with, 
and you can keep a few notes here about things that are working with them. And then you can go and track them through this natural process that we're talking about. One thing to note as well is back on page six where there's the funnel, mm -hmm. it's showing 100 to 45 to 30 to 15 to three. So just notice the transference of going through a big name dump, right? Mm -hmm. And thinking through everybody you know, and then really thinking about who's ready. Who's ready for me to tell them a story? Who's needing me to share a sample with them? And then transferring those top names to that success tracker and beginning that process of recording their interactions with those 45 people. That's right, because you've got space in the build guide or they're inviting, we're inviting you in the share guide to get a lot of those names, do the dump, but this you're gonna hone in on the top 25 of those prospects. Well, and also notice that here, that, you know, we've got the, the success tracker page showing, which is page seven in your launch guide. And then we've got a blown up view here of the top of those columns. And so this goes with your funnel. They're 45, you're 30, you're 15 to your three. And just teaching you that statistically, we've been tracking in these 10 years of doTERRA mm -hmm. what the general patterns are for the general populace. Now, of course, people can have Looks like the disclaimer, your experience might not be the same or whatever. As a, as a first scribe. Individual but, results may vary. There you go. That's what I was looking That's it. for. So, and nevertheless, we want you to anchor yourself to some expectations because this allows you to see, hey, are my results tracking, no pun intended, with the averages? Am I able to get, you know, a minimum of this many people to actually show up to a presentation? Am I able to enroll this many people? So have a level of expectation of performance that you hold yourself to, which allows you then to see if you have a breakdown or a lack of skills. If you're not getting, you know, half of your attendees at a minimum signing up, then go take a look at your capacity to close and enroll. If you're not getting those people you're handing out samples to or telling your story to, to actually show up to a presentation, then take a look at your inviting process. So this really helps you to track not only what's happening with each individual, but how your overall patterns are, are going for you. How are you trending? Mm -hmm. If you're wondering what's next, this is a great place to just look. Oh yeah, I've done this and this is what's next, right? As you're getting the hang of things, it's going to help you track them through that natural process. Well, you know, it's so profound about that, Natalie, is we teach that you're only as good as your next action. Mm -hmm. So what the chart teaches you is what's my next action? How, what am I inviting this person to next? You know, just had a, a mentoring dinner last night, just talking to a new builder yesterday. And what I'm always booking with them, what I'm always talking about, the end of that interaction is we're booking our next interaction. What's mm -hmm. next? Or sending them with their takeaways. So think about that with each of your prospects and your customers and your builders. What's the next action? Mm -hmm. And it's super simple, right? It's the same right. thing. It's pipes. It's always pipes. Mm -hmm. And one thing that, just one little tip that I would provide for you is if you look at the very bottom, it says, print additional copies of the Empowered Success Library. I love printing multiple copies and just putting them in a folder and I can keep it in my bag if I'm out and about so that if I give a sample out, I know what I gave out. So it is really easy to lose track and you definitely don't wanna miss out on an opportunity to yeah, follow you, up with someone. You didn't someone, wanna so. post it in your pair of jeans that got washed <laughs> and the one you left on the kitchen counter that your husband didn't exactly. know was an important neighbor number and threw away. Yeah, I've been there, done that. So. Mm -hmm. That's just a little tip. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna dive into this. We want you to leave with a drilled down um, list of who those top prospects are. So whatever names list that you have already, um, whatever you have, bring those pieces together. Um, if you don't take your phone off of airplane mode, but just look at your phone right, right, contacts right, right. if you need to, right? Um, but here you're going to dial in to those top 25. I love that. In yeah. fact, just as a reminder, so we're going to give you a few minutes to do that. Go back real quick. Let's just read this together. Use your names list from build and share guides and track your pipes activities with your top 25 prospects. So right out of the gates, you probably, as Natalie said, already have some lists right. hanging around and we're just inviting you to take that to the next level of organization. In addition to that, search your phone contacts, your social media friends for ideas of whose lives, right, by way of health, purpose, freedom, like even people who are looking for wealth freedom, mm -hmm. as new people come to mind and into your life, then add them to your list to keep up the flow, right? That's how you're putting that flow 
through your pipeline. Your pipeline is all about, if you have one person in your pipeline, then only one person can come out, right? If you have 25 people in your pipeline, then you can have a minimum of 12 lives that, you, that you're changing. So start sharing and inviting. Then you have your list to, to roll from. So as, as Natalie indicated, we're gonna take time right now. We're literally gonna pause. We're gonna give you five minutes. We're gonna set the clock. Do we have any yep, we'll pause, music we'll there? We'll pause for Justin? five minutes. No, it gives us an echo. So, so no can, music, so turn so, your own music on. Yeah, so no music, play some music, take five minutes. Also one comment, uh, don't prejudge anyone. Um, we fall into that trap often, like, oh, so, oh, they won't be interested. Oh, they, no, this isn't for them. Um, we don't have the right to make that decision. That's their decision. I'm so glad somebody didn't make that decision for me. Uh, amen, right? Yeah. What if someone said, oh, Natalie got her, she would not be open to the oils. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Hundreds of thousands of people may have missed out Actually, on this. Millions. Millions, like, yeah, like millions. millions. Because not only is there, you know, yeah. Because every household we impact is not one person. Right. Um, it's right. multiple Millions people, people would have missed out and because so of just one person one not being invited. Person. Right. So just get in that flow. Take off your filters. If you need to dump a little bit more dump, open up your build guide to that very last page where you might have already dumped some names and bring your top names right here. And don't feel bad if you have a chicken list. No, we don't <laughs> have a chicken list. But people that you think are a little bit more scary to approach write them down anyways. You might be, not only might, you might pleasantly surprise yourself, you might really pleasantly surprise them with a proposition that they've possibly even been praying into their lives, right? Just think about the perspective. I'm looking for people who are looking for my message. I'm looking for people who are looking for my solutions. And you're not, you're not desperate. You're looking for the lives that are seeking to be changed. It was so scary for me to approach you, Lara Jacobs, the amazing Lara Jacobs, right? But, she was on your chicken list? Oh, yeah. She was on my <laughs> chicken list. But as I experienced the power of the oils, I knew, oh, Lara will value this, you know? And so whatever it is that's drawing you to these people, like, honor that and, and get them on your list so it creates this space, right? Well, thank you for not chickening out. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. Changed my entire existence. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, guys. So we're going to do four or five minutes. Uh, take it right now. We're going to go on pause. Um, and uh, please work on that list. And then we'll be back with you in five minutes.
Okay, how's it going? How's your names list coming along? Going into this little assignment. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do that. that I'm going to go to the bathroom and make a smoothie instead of doing what those guys <laughs> asked me. So for those of you who chose to jump in, I don't know about you, but what I've noticed about myself, do you guys feel the same way? That once I start jumping into something like this, like you get into it. Yes. And you, mm -hmm. you're like, you like it and it feels good and things start to come to you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing the people that just jump to mind. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. You and know, go with that intuition. Do it. It's powerful. Do it. And again, like you said, don't pass up people that maybe you think, ah, oh, nah, because sometimes they're your very best contacts. So now we have the list, Laura. Now what? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are now moving on da -da -da -da, to the next section of the pipe. Yes. <laughs> which is invite. Now, admittedly because we were really attached to the word pipes we couldn't put two letters in this one truly invite is share and invite mm -hmm. it's a duality there's actually kind of a three-step process here that we're going to get into which is modeled here right below with the pages that we're going to explore so let's dive right in now let's go back and anchor ourselves to where we've already been what, we, what did we already learn earlier in our time together well one through our launch guide we realize our identity of what am i doing here i'm a solutions provider in my home and other people are going to find out that they want to do that in their home too so what i'm doing is i'm connecting people to my solutions now they're plural because one i got more than one oil i've got some yeah. supplements right mm -hmm. and it's okay for me to own those those are my solutions and i'm sharing them but i also have a solution for an opportunity for for wealth so it's a health and wealth and this is my role that I'm playing. I'm a solutions provider. I'm, I'm modeling that by doing that in my own home. I'm not setting up a 24 seven hotline and starting a new business, right? Of like, hey, call me, Laura Jacobs, for all to solve all your problems. I'm calling you at 2 a.m. Calling me at 2 a.m., yeah. right? <laughs> and that's actually an intimidating prospect for people to think they're now supposed to solve someone else's problem. It's not the prize. The prize is for people to actually discover that they can be their own solutions provider. So that's what we're sharing is the prospect of that. So remember, all of that was beautifully taught to us in the share guide, which we've already gone over. So when it comes to the launch guide itself, the page you're going to come to next in your spread eight, from pages eight and nine is this beautiful invitation to connect, share, and invite. So before we go to the page, let's just sit here for a minute. This picture is perfect because it's showing two people interacting with the live guide. You know, in the words of Kyle Kirschbaum, mm -hmm. have authentic connections first. We're not just trying to jump down someone's throat <laughs> or ear canal or whatever with our message. Like, be a person to a person. Care, mm -hmm. connect. Mm -hmm. People sense that. They sense that you have interest in their lives and in their success. And that's how we earn the right to share and invite. It's because we make True. those connections. And we don't have to have a six month connection process, right? You can connect powerfully just by being present and mm -hmm. listening to them you know but care through that process mm -hmm. but don't think oh i haven't talked to them for 30 years so i need to just be their friend and reach out six times on facebook messenger before i share it's it's just the quality of what you do right, right. not the, connection the big the big um asset there is pay attention to their lives mm -hmm. if you're interacting with them on social media what's happening with them where you can choose to bounce off of what's current in their lives. Mm -hmm. So what we've done for you in both the share guide, which again, we've already been through with the scripting and also now here in the launch guide, consider this spread here, eight and nine, as an extension of your share guide, which remember is a companion to your launch guide for launching your business. And there's some beautiful, this is a three-step process. So as you look at the whole spread, notice one, two, and three, and we'll dive into those that Section one is connecting with people authentically and sincerely. Now we're gonna assume the best of you that you know how to do that, right? That you, you're a capable person and you know how to connect with people in that way and be their friend. And then we can dive into some other portions of that to really breathe life into this process. So in section two on that same page, this is about connecting people to see your solutions. So here is a brilliant opportunity to practice this. This is maybe a little bit out of your common interactions right this is maybe haven't been doing this you maybe haven't done this yet right exactly yeah totally exactly so go back to your names list that you just on the success tracker that you just created and choose one person and how are you going to approach them and practice role play this with your partner so
So there's two sections here, right? Is someone you already know and someone new. So we're giving you two examples of how would you take uh, an, a familiar situation or an unfamiliar situation and then introduce someone to your solution. So with the role playing, if you are in a situation where you're with more than yourself, then how would that look? How would that role playing go for you? So we want to invite you to do that. So how would we like to springboard them into that process? Anybody have some good recommendations here as how this can look for them? I think it's great. So choose one of those people, have them in mind. Um, if you want to practice this, someone you already know. And you can you can just read the scripting mm -hmm. so you get familiar mm -hmm. with it. You can add your own pieces into it. But take just a moment and decide which approach um, you're going to use and and then practice it and with the it. person next to you, right? You're just going to turn to that person next to you or you're going to pop over to the mirror again so you can practice and start getting used to this connecting them to solutions. One thing I'd like to point out about the scripts that are here on this page is they are scripts and they're great to learn, but make it your own because then you have your authentic, right? Okay, so so if, if you start to say something that you would love, well, I would never say that. Well, then don't say it like that. Right? Okay, that's so not Natalie, authentic. read to us the script with the blue quote, and then let's see how we might rephrase that in our own words. You know how it seems like so many people are into natural wellness these days? It seems more and more important to eat better, exercise more, get quality sleep, and get rid of toxic products around the house. Is that pretty much how you are as well? What kinds of things are you doing with your family? What do you know about essential oils, right? And I would listen for a response after each of them. Right, I guess we could. Yeah, so how, would, how could we spin that in our own world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Put it in your own words. Everybody needs to be connected to doTERRA solutions in different ways, for different reasons, at different times, right? So yeah. you just learn the skill of connecting those people to mm -hmm. doTERRA and the rest is history, right? Then the magic happens because the solutions really work like they did for you. Totally. So mm -hmm. here would be our invitation on this slide is Right now, it might be you sitting in front of a computer, or perhaps you're in a setting of a training, you have a gathering people, you're using this video as part of that training, or perhaps you're a leader preparing for a training. And we really encourage you to take some time right near, now in this training, when you're you know, setting that up with multiple individuals, to let people practice this particular section mm -hmm. together. It's very important that we get more relaxed in this, and you're, you're gonna be amazed. If you'll just practice this for five minutes, then when it happens, you won't feel like you're caught off guard. You're like, again, how you prepare for your action is every bit as important as the action mm -hmm. itself. And so you're gonna feel more natural and comfortable. Even if you're feeling nervous inside, you're gonna be able to present that message more with ease. And so for those of you who, again, maybe are by yourself right now and you don't have an opportunity to interact with someone, you can go talk to your mayor mm -hmm. after the yeah. training or practice on your family mm -hmm. or, no, there's no harm in calling up a best friend. Like I could have done this with Eve mm -hmm. and I could have said, look, I'm trying to get good at this whole oil thing. Can I practice on you? <laughs> you, you would have done that for me, right? Sure. She totally would have. We, everybody has friends or family like that who you can just practice on them and let, you'll never know. They'll sign up. <laughs> the, I, can I just make one comment? That first line under someone new. This is so awesome. If you're looking to break the ice, because sometimes people are like, well, how do I even start the dialogue, start the conversation? And so asking someone else what they do mm -hmm. is the most effective question at breaking the ice and starting the conversation because then they'll share with you their answer, which is great. And then it's like an unwritten social rule that they must then what? <laughs> ask ask you, you, right? They must ask you what you yeah. do and that's the question you want, right? You right. want that. And if they don't ask you what you do, then they're socially dead and you don't want them anyway. So <laughs> move on. <laughs> Move on. But but real normal oh, human beings. Wait, 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 I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. But but most people will respond and right. ask you what you do, and then that opens the door. So Justin, so brilliant that you brought this up right now because right here in this third quote with the orange things around it are two phrases of what we would call an audio business audio business card or an elevator pitch. So that have yourself prepared when somebody right. does turn to you and say, so what do you do? Then right here are two perfectly scripted examples of one you would use in the environment like 
a mother to mother environment, right? right? Mm -hmm. Family environment or in a professional environment. So as a practitioner, I owned a wellness center for 18 and a half years. I loved what I did. I absolutely loved it. However, as with any dentist, chiropractor, massage therapist, I had a gal at my house last night who's been doing what she does, one-on-one -on -one appointments for 20 years. So she's hauling buckets. I was hauling buckets for an exchange for the time that I gave. And you know what? I wanted time freedom. So to go to a professional, like in the second quote, and offer an opportunity to create a second stream of income so that you have choice is again, one of the greatest gifts you can offer. It takes us all the way back to our bill guide experience and maybe even that second level of play. Would a chiropractor, in fact, who was telling me this just yesterday? Oh yeah, one of our front line. He was telling us at a salon that he changed the bottom line of the salon. They, they made 20,000 more in revenue last year because of their doTERRA offering. Wow. So that's mm -hmm. nearly $2,000 a month. And when you're running a small business, I can relate to this. Mm -hmm. A couple thousand dollars more a month in income in your business yeah. can change. Big it can deal. be the difference yeah. between make it or break it. Mm -hmm. So just feel really, really confident and, and blessed by just some simple concepts like this can really truly again anchor your capacity to move this forward. So now we've got the connection to the person, right? That authentic connection. And we've got the connection starting to connect them to the solutions that we have. Now it's time for the invitation, right? So I love that you brought this up, Natalie. Remember we talked about this section of the pipe, the I section, mm -hmm. that it would sound like pipes if we had an S in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> this really is a two part process. And so your first half is you're exposing people to the possibilities. Your healthy can be simple guide, as we already talked about, is helping people see themselves in it. That's what that whole first page is. is it's the warm up act where people are salivating and leaning in and wanting more. And now you've earned the right to issue the invitation to come and do that very thing, to come and learn more. And, and that's where we're gonna, we're just gonna connect them to a presentation where they can learn more. This. And that can happen in so many different ways, right? Whether it's in a webinar or a lifestyle overview or class or one-on-one -on -one or a business overview. These are great presentations. Some people will need it delivered to them in a different way, but this gives you an awesome script for any one of these presentations that just gives you a great starting place to begin. Yeah, well, make them your own, you know, yeah. make them your own. I love that. Thank you for continuing to invite that, Justin. That the mm -hmm. scripts again are intended to get us familiarized with, and, and they're very carefully crafted. Yeah. Every single script is intended to teach you that there's components, the essential components, the essential components, right? Mm -hmm. And so take from that and then craft your own. And then here we've carefully chosen five interactions for you because you have five different types of presentations. You're inviting people to one on ones classes, mm -hmm. possibly an online education experience, just like we're doing right here together. Then later on in, uh, so, you know, we're kind of in the flow of pipes where we're inviting people to come and learn more as a prospect, mm -hmm. but we're just taking advantage of the time that there's also later presentations like a lifestyle overview that's part of your follow up that you're going to need to invite them to. And the business overview could be later on in your pipes experience or it might be the first invitation you're issuing you can start a business prospect with a build guide experience prior to any other presentation so sure. we wanted you to be prepared to invite to any kind of presentation that are our basic ones in our business and this just does that for you when i love the other key on this page is helping people say yes right we want to set up people for success so that they're ready to say yes and you do that by just being clear as you're inviting them right the confused mind says no the clear <laughs> mind can say yes so get clear on the invitation itself so they know exactly what they're saying yes to um and then we're building up the value of that as well hey i'm so excited for you to come to class because you'll learn in one hour what it took me Three years to learn about essential oils. I love saying that because then they know, oh, that's really valuable use of my time mm -hmm. if I can really mm -hmm. learn that. Or even, um, you know, hey, I'm so excited for you to learn these natural solutions for your son's health in this class or in this one-on-one. -on -one. 
build up that value. As you're early on in your building experience, one of the things we like to recommend is to partner. You know, Justin, you've been so great to teach us this. So if I'm a new builder, right? Actually, no, let's put me in the role of the prospect. I'm the prospect. So I'm being invited, just like we're talking about here. You've done such a good job of teaching us that that prospect is better influenced by two types of people. We teach this in our train guide. And so if, if you're my neighbor and I've known you for 25 years as the guy next door who mows his lawn every Saturday in his t-shirt, right? And now you're inviting me to an essential oil class. That might not be your experience. No, I trust you, sure. right? You'll put my garbage out, out when I'm on vacation. And if there's an emergency picking up my kids from preschool, you, I can call on you, it. right? So we trust each other. However, do I necessarily hold you in a space as an essential oil expert? Probably not. So what could be leveraged here? Oh man, this is so, I'm so glad you brought this up. I was just thinking about this. Um, this I is, read your mind. We, we call this, <laughs> I know, we're, we're on this, uh, we call this the trust, respect, respect, trust, respect relationship, right? Well, uh, Laura trusts me, we've known each other forever, but she's not gonna respect me because all of a sudden I'm an oils expert, right? This is with family, especially. Because those of you that are new, you're getting into the oils and you call your brother, sister, aunt, uncle. They know you're new. They know that you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and that you're totally a greenie, right? They know this. And so it's super important. If I'm talking with Laura and I want to invite her to a class, I cannot be the expert. I've got to employ the use of someone else, an upline, anyone else. Really, it actually can be anyone else. It really, um, can it really can be any, literally anyone else. Or even, it can be a resource. Or a tool. Book. Yeah. It can the, be a DVD. The, any yeah. of the books that are available are great experts. A lot of information, uh, webinars, conference calls. But it can't be you initially. I mean, I remember even with my own family in the beginning, I did not want to teach their class. I, I didn't want to be the person because I knew my own father. For years, he had an issue, an intestinal issue. And for years, I would tell them, well, do this, this, and this, and I think that will help tremendously. Did he ever do it? No. We happened to be going through our hometown with Dr. Hill, who you all know. And guess what my father asked Dr. Hill? What do I do for this issue? And guess what Dr. <laughs> Hill told him? <laughs> the same the thing. exact same thing, word for word, without deviation, without change. And I just sat there kind of tapping my toe. You know, what does my dad say to Dr. Hill? I, I will do that. And he did it, and his issue resolved. And I'm thinking, that was a rough. I was not the expert you for my father, right? That's right? That's right. He just needed to hear it from someone else. And so, so when it comes to getting people to say yes and using these scripts, inviting in an expert, which again can be someone else, anyone else, or a tool, is super effective to bring the respect. Well, you know, trust and respect. It's a home run hit. And for those of you that are brand new, I think this is one of the most powerful takeaways you could have today to employ those two aspects of trust and respect to win. Okay, so Justin, thank you for that. Woo! That was brilliant. Now, what I had that built up inside. I know, we had to that up. Now, the, the, we're gonna bring this back. What does this have to do with people saying yes? So I'm gonna take Natalie Goddard as an example. Natalie, when you started in doTERRA, mm -hmm. were you quote unquote an essential oil expert? No way. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Eve, we already established Eve was not an expert, but she knows how to use oils, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm the new person, I'm hosting, I'm you, I'm the people watching this webinar, mm -hmm. I am a new builder. Should I say, <laughs> I've got Eve Hewitt, doTERRA Diamond coming to my house who's gonna teach this class. Or I've got Natalie Goddard, presidential double diamond coming to my house to teach this class. First of all, they could care less about that. They have no and idea what that means. Second <laughs> of all, it doesn't mean anything. But if I say to them, I've got an expert coming, and she's an expert at being a solutions provider in her home. And you're going to love learning for her how to be an expert in your home. I have got like, mate, like oh. I have Eve there and she comes in and she talks about how she's mommed her way mm -hmm. through eight kids, mm -hmm. right? And only two are still at home. And Natalie's still got a million of them running around the house, <laughs> All right? <laughs> and they come in and they talk about how they're solving problems in their home. Just so we understand, we are not leveraging rank here. We are leveraging home expertise. We're leveraging that all our whole mission here is, hey, I've actually discovered how to be a solutions provider in my home. I'm inviting you to become one in your home. And by the way, I've got a special person coming who's an expert at being that in her home, and I want you to learn from her. That's what we're talking about here. Ooh. Do you see the difference? Oh, man. And here's Huge. the bottom line. 
if I had staged my presenter by their rank or some like blah, 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 and then you're the new builder and you can't pull that off the next time and you focus on a different type of expertise, it's not duplicable. The kind of expertise we're talking about leveraging here is duplicable. Now, it's possible. When I came to doTERRA, I was an essential oil expert. In fact, I kind of chuckled at my upline who had been using them for five minutes or 13 <laughs> minutes. And I'd been using them for 13 years. Okay, so sometimes our enrollments do know I could teach a class by myself straight out of the gates because I was already held in the space of expert. So don't pass those people up either. And so in other words, we highly recommend that when you're not a prophet in your own land and you haven't established that kind of credibility or people clearly know you are not yet an expert in your home, leverage another expert. If you feel like an expert, you're esteemed as an expert by your crowd, even from one mom to another. I promise you that if Natalie or Eve were to call up their neighbors and say, I'm doing an oil class, they would not need to leverage an expert. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So really pay attention to where are you? How does your audience esteem you? And then what do you need to partner with in order to make that happen? So don't, I, we don't wanna put you in a box, but mm -hmm. the typical scenario is you're first starting out, bring in someone who's already established a level of expertise in their home. And that's why Justin's so on when he says, it really can be anyone else who really feels comfortable talking about that. Even if they've only been doing oils, for a, a few time. minutes because yeah. those girls who've been doing for 13 minutes changed my life mm -hmm. as the expert i listened to them and i said yes where i had already given natalie some really big fat no's mm -hmm. and that's because i heard some solutions that they were accomplishing and i was in that's all it took yeah was one person telling me how she was an expert in her home and that is what filled the deal something that simple powerful love it so next point on that one had give two options that can work for them. I really like saying, hey, do you want to come to the class on Thursday night at mm -hmm. seven uh, where you can learn, you know, this much in an hour? Or would you rather do a one on one? If you're open to offering that, you know, get a time to offer that one on one. So it's would you like to come to the class Thursday at seven or yeah. should we do a one on one on Friday morning? at 10 when the kids are at school. So this is just like asking a three-year-old to get dressed in the morning. You don't <laughs> ask them what you want they want to wear. You set out two or three mm -hmm. outfits that you're okay with. So don't give people an opportunity to say <laughs> yes or no. Give them an opportunity to say yes to what works for them. So offer them a couple options mm -hmm. and then you're far more likely to get a yes. Yeah, it, it's actually called an alternate close. It is. And everyone in, in most of the developed world countries of the world have been pre-programmed for this because of multiple choice testing in our school systems. Right. Wow. Right. So we're all taught, well, here's your question, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, right? So already when someone asks a question, they're expecting a multiple choice expecting option. Choices. Right. So give them the option and no could still be an option, but we're not going to offer it on the buffet, right? We're going to give them A, B, C or just A, B. And if no, if no is still there, then great. We circle back to them later. It might sound like which class is better for you? Yeah. Having one this Thursday at seven or one next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Which class is better awesome. for you? This is a perfect example of you're only as good as your next action or your next interaction, right? So when we're sampling and telling stories, then we're as good as the next action, which is the invite. And then the invite is only good if there's some place to take them to. Is there a presentation opportunity established, either a class or a one-on-one, -on -one, and so this is going to be super successful. Now, we've already seeded this section quite a bit here because we've been talking to you a lot about depending on the stage that you're in, as far as you feeling comfortable with your audience, that with this, this presenting section, we actually don't teach you how to teach a natural solutions presentation until the train guide. Because we would prefer that you don't attempt to be a prophet in your own land, that you really do bring in a third party source of credibility because it will help you enroll your audience in other words this isn't about you this is about your audience and your capacity to change lives mm -hmm. so when you think about your prospect if it's you and a doTERRA dvd or, or tapping into the videos online if it's you and your friend eve who knows how to use oils at her house it's a stronger presentation and if you really have five and six people there you're not capable of enrolling them all by yourself it's better if there's a couple of wellness advocates at an average class. Mm -hmm. What we find is the mm -hmm. average enrollment takes about 45 minutes. Give them a snack, get them to fill out the paper, answer their questions. And so while you're rotating afterwards, 
Each of you can handle about three of those people. And that alone is going to improve your closing ratio. So we're gonna go through with you now a couple um, details on what do we want you to know when it comes to you setting yourself up. So focus on hosting more than anything. Your first role here is really to play the role of hosting the presentation. That's so fun. Hosting is fun. Presenting, you're going to love presenting down the road. You can do this in so many ways, right? You can do it through class, one-on-one, -on -one, three-way call is amazing way. Um, a webinar or online Zoom, you know, video or through social media. Lots of ways that you can deliver a presentation. It, it really is okay to send a friend to a link and have them watch a presentation totally. and follow up. That is acceptable. Yeah, totally. Acceptable. Well, and sometimes I don't I don't know if it, this has happened to any of you, but have you ever invited someone to a class when they didn't come? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a secret meeting? You all know what that is? That's no. a class where the Laura probably hasn't, but it's a you hold a class and no one came. Yeah. So it, was, it, was a, it was a secret meeting, right? He's it was laughing. a secret. Wait, she was one you invited and didn't come. Hysterically laughing because she and I drove 16 hours oh, to a goodness. very remote town. Got there, 21 people in the room, all from another team. Oh and no! Our hostess with no. Oh, oh no! But that's just one of my painful stories. Yes, Justin. I have. Yes, had we've <laughs> all <laughs> we've <laughs> all done it. So the reason I mentioned that is, as we're talking about how and where, it, some of these people we're not going to get them to come to a class. We have to go to them. Yeah. We have to go to them. We have to meet them we where they're to, at. Exactly. Yeah. Have a plan B and a plan C. Exactly. Okay. So we can meet of all kinds of I feel places. like we could break out in song and any place will do. Isn't there a song about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the bottom half of the present the message page is designed to familiarize you with the flow of both of the presentations. So whether you're using the natural solutions handout or the product lifestyle presentation invitation or the business overview through the build guide, this is designed to give you an idea of what to expect. What's the general time frame mm -hmm. that you could um, spend in these types of engagements? And again, don't pin yourself in a box. You know, maybe your business presentation goes for an hour because it's over dinner and it's a little sure. more casual. We really do hold you to a 40 to 50 minute time frame. However, on the product presentation, we don't recommend rolling past that. One is you probably flood them with more information than they can handle. Totally. The confused mind mm -hmm. says no. Keep the main thing the main thing. And by all means, give yourself some time after the presentation oh, yes. for the enrollment. The magic in the meeting is after the meeting. Exactly. So get to the after meeting quicker. Which is where you serve a doTERRAized guacamole. That's with right. Our cilantro <laughs> and lime oil, our peach or apple slice Ooh. soaked in on guard, some sassy mm. water, and some mint brownies. You can't tell I've ever done this before, can you? Never. <laughs> Those are like our standard snacks, right? And the meeting after the meeting, of course, is super important. But if you don't have the meeting, then you don't have the yeah, conversation. The meeting, right? You haven't earned the right for the after the meeting. So once again, just to put you at ease, the invitation in the present section of the pipes is that your key role here is that you are gathering people. You are hosting the message. The, the messenger is up for grabs, right? We talked about some different options there. And remember, like we went over in the share guide earlier, you, you've got this outline of what your part is, right? Yes. And, and there's some great, um, you'll find a download link in the share guide to a class planner. That class planner has some ideas for, you know, those simple treats. You know, Lara sounds like an expert, but I promise you, they're really simple things that you can do and you can just choose one of them. You know, have some water and one thing. Uh, you can keep it super simple, but again, the heart of what this looks like, what your part in presenting the message, you're going to find in the share guide. You don't have to serve all those food items either. Mm -mm. You can pick right. one or two, right? Keep it yeah, simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple for you and your hostess. When even and, having water with lemon. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's very simple. Have yeah. fun. Just yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. The, the presentation is the core of what we do. That sharing the message is mm -hmm. really, really powerful. And once we've done that, we're going to, um, in doing that, you know, your part is drawing experiences out from these other people. Um, you're so sharing your own experience. Look how this ties into what you're learning in your actual launch guide. So remember, if you go back to page five, this whole rank advancement in doTERRA, we could say rank schmink. Really, this is a process of becoming. 
that at every rank in doTERRA, you are acquiring a new level of character. So right out of the gates, you're a builder. And the character that we're seeing here is the character of a solutions provider. And this is the, this is the badge you want to wear. So as you're, as you're part of your first classes, and again, whether you're using a doTERRA DVD or an upline, whatever the case is, your part is that you're sharing how you have become the solutions provider in your home because you have a book in a box. That it's that simple. And that you're drawing from your personal experiences because there's somebody in the room who is possibly looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. because they too would love to share. And so they're watching you and you want them to see themselves in it and say, I could do that. And then of course, totally. your, your key, remember what's the job that the handout does for this class? It's on the next page, Justin, is the job title of the natural solutions class is to enroll your prospects. So let it do that. Again, keep the main thing the main thing. Don't go off on too many tangents. Keep it to very few simple things. And this is in fact, the anatomy of a successful natural solutions presentation <laughs> is three <laughs> things only. Okay? That's right. Keep it super simple. What's an essential oil? How do you use them? And then really, really cool part of the class is you start out by saying, we're going to do three things together tonight. Da, 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 da. I'm going to get to the third thing. And then I'm going to teach you how to get them in your home. Now, the close is awkward if you're like, okay, now's the time I'm going to ask for your money. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that segue, <laughs> right? So the segue to the close is now is the time to talk about how to get these in your home. Mm -hmm. And I think there's so much beauty in making this engaging and fun mm -hmm. because when you get to the end, one line I like to use is if I heard you correctly, this is what you need. Yes. And it allows me to be able to go back to provide a solution for them for the needs that they were speaking about throughout the class. So find your own tagline in the close so that it feels good so that you can provide them the solution to take home. Yeah. So if I hear you right, Casey, what you're saying is, Okay, so we talked about at the beginning of the class, we're gonna do three things, we come to our third mm -hmm. thing, which is how to get them in the home. And this is the time when we equip you to be that mm -hmm. solutions provider in your home. And it's time for you to figure yeah. out what's that first box and book that you're gonna have or something like that, right? Yeah, so it's a perfect way exactly. to combine those two things. And you provided them also by using this handout, everything they need to effectively and safely use the product in their home. So I love just going straight from the skies. So because you're going to play the role of a hostess, one of the things to do is remember what, how you prepare for the action is as important or more important than the action. So doTERRA has created what's called a class in a box, which is designed to give you everything you need to successfully host a presentation. So you can look at the numbers here on the bottom of your screen and notice that they're thinking ahead for you, that you're going to invite more people than are going to show up. That's typical, right? You have enough handouts. They're actually preparing you to close every single person that comes, right? They've got 10 handouts and then 10 gifts that you can reward people for their enrollment or for attending. You can decide what are, some, what are some ways you guys have seen people use the magazines and the wild orange as far as wielding those wisely that come in the class in a box. I see people give away wild oranges for if you bring a friend, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they give you an oil. Um, and you can also use them in a different setting. Yes. You don't yeah. necessarily need to use these in a class. I've seen people say, um, for coming, you're going to go, you're going to get a gift. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's a gift for attendance. Also, for those of you who enroll tonight, you're going to go home with a free wild orange and a living magazine. Right. And we, what we like to do is also make sure they, we instruct them to open the oil mm -hmm. while they're there. Right. We don't want them leaving with an open bottle. We want to open on them because wild orange is happiness in a bottle. Mm -hmm. well, so we want them to leave happy. Look how cool that is. So right in the class, the second step in the teaching is a bottle of wild orange. So it's possible that it could be used as the class mm -hmm. experience. Now, of course, right. you can have your own wild orange open and pass it around. Right. It's not necessary that everyone has their own. Then you can use class in a box or you could just go to that. Um, you could just get the class handouts right. and live share and build guides with your LRP. Whatever, you know, again, this is the core system we're going to teach you the essentials and then you apply that in a way that works for you. So I, we're sharing I will say this though, where else are you going to get wild oranges for $2.50 or less? Yeah. I don't even think uh, they're that much anymore. This is like, such a steal of a deal. Yeah, for steal. $25 yeah. for have, all of this? Yeah, like everything, everything else is free. That if a woman brings home a small wild orange from a class, right? Her husband's gonna appreciate that wild orange, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take yeah. it home, get it on him, in him before they even have their oil. Right. Yeah. So from a cost perspective, if you 
consider that each bottle of wild orange is only $2.50. That makes everything else in the box free. So it's a wonderful way. It's really a, a business in a box too. It's a great way to kick totally. off a business. And this just goes into part of our purpose of having the class is to duplicate that class, right? We want the empowerment that happened in that class to continue. So we're going to, you know, seed that in the class. Um, and you might do it with a script like we've got outlined here. Likely you've thought of people you know who would benefit from the same experience. If you'd like to host your own gathering, see one of us. And if you book tonight, you get to take home this keychain, right? This is just one mm -hmm. way that people are doing it, one example that you could use. So remember, you're only as good as your next action. And so if one of your goals is to actually grow your business beyond a pool of customers, which of course is delightful, to build a customer community, remember there are people in that community who, like you, are looking for an opportunity. And so present it. They, they need to be invited. They don't know what they don't know. And people are looking for someone to, again, like you said, Justin, they're looking for choices and they want to be offered those choices. So this is a beautiful time to discover people that you may not otherwise identify as someone who is in fact looking for an opportunity. So as you're again early on and we're, we're having you focus more on hosting and learning to present through these first events, do not miss this opportunity to already start duplicating yourself through future presentations because and people want to host them. This is the best time to ask for that because the people sitting in the seats listening to the class are thinking of all these people in their lives that could be blessed by the oil. Sure. Right? So this is a great time to make that invitation and get the class book that night um, in preparation. Well, and then you're offering yourself as that third party witness. Mm -hmm. Like like mm -hmm. Eve came tonight for me and she we together we showed up and taught you how to be solutions providers in your home. We're happy to come do that in your home. One of us can come and do that with you and you know, however you mm -hmm. want to offer that and show them that it's a pay it forward type mm -hmm. experience. And then, then suddenly again, will they see themselves in it more if they know they're not teaching it by themselves, they're hosting it and someone mm -hmm. else is coming and anchoring the presentation mm -hmm. and they have thought of all those people whose lives they want to change. They're going to say, yeah, I'll host a class. I mean, they're excited. Yeah. yeah. What's fun is we can't help but think of other, we don't even have to be asked. Mm -hmm. We can't help when we hear about it's a solution, natural. we automatically think, oh, so-and-so would love that they or so-and-so needs that. Yeah. Right. So it's already happening, but we just got to help pull it out. Mm -hmm. Right. And work and with that. Right, exactly. exactly. Okay. So on the opposite part of the spread, pages 10 and 11, we've covered everything about presenting the message. And as we're looking at what skills and awarenesses are really important early on in your doTERRA business building experience, understanding how to enroll successfully is a critical early skill. I love watching Casey and Justin's heads right now emphatically nod forward. <laughs> yeah, the skill of closing is an excellent early focus, no doubt. So that takes us now to enroll. Mm -hmm. Our next, aren't you guys excited? Mm -hmm. You're on your oh, yeah. five mm -hmm. sections. Mm -hmm. and enroll is where we make the magic happen, right? If people don't enroll and get the oils in their home, how much are we changing well, a life? And what's funny about this is often people the people get stuck here. Like they're mm -hmm. afraid to ask that question. Like, oh no, it's it's come to that point, you know, I don't want to say anything. And, mm -hmm. and, and really the person is expecting you to, they are, mm -hmm. they're expect cause you've already set that expectation they're disappointed in the beginning. Yeah. If you don't. Right. I attended a class once I remember and the class was great, lots of great energy. And the host of the class, as soon as it was over, literally told everyone they did not need to enroll. <laughs> and I sat there and thought, why did I come? <laughs> right? She said, you guys don't need to enroll. It's okay. I'm like, oh, they were ready. To enroll. It's like if you don't want to change your life, <coughs> you don't need to enroll. But for those of you exactly. who do, yeah. we recovered. We did that. We recovered and it was fine. <laughs> and, it was and fine. You know, we've all had, again, I'm super glad that Eve's in the room because she just keeps it real for me because of all the builders that I've built with, every single one we've had those fallible moments where like we learned some of our very best lessons. Our yeah. very, and you know what? Those secret meetings that you talked about, Justin, uh -huh. what we ended up meeting with was our hostess. Sure. And discovering how we mm -hmm. could better prepare her for hosting and inviting people. Mm -hmm. I want to just take us back to the beginning of our time together today with the build guide. And we invited you right out of the gates to anchor your commitment to your vision for your life. So when you think about that debt free goal or the goal to travel more or to put that kid through college or pay off your house or whatever your goal is, 
or to have that time freedom or to help your spouse quit that second job. The chicken moments are getting uncomfortable and, and talking in the invite and the other chicken moment can be right here at enrolling. So if you remember that I'm here to change lives, I'm here to change the lives of the people in front of me and I'm here to change the lives of the people in my, you know, my home sphere of influence, including my own, then it re-anchors you and it gets you to get past yourself. Again, we're here to, to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. <laughs> so we're afflicting you with your vision for a better life because it will be the thing that causes you, like what if Natalie Goddard had chickened out? Like Come seriously, on. the impact of her not pressing forward with me is not only devastating for Laura Jacobs individually, for my family, and for literally over a million lives because she opened her mouth. That's no small deal. I mean, I could get super emotional right now. That is no small deal for me that mm -hmm. she could have kept her mouth shut. But there are people, remember, we're just looking for people who are looking for us. Right. And if there's a few people in the room who, and I always say it like this, like if you're not ready to make a commitment and you just want to dip your toe in the water, no worries. Just pick up a mm -hmm. bottle at retail and try it out for yourself. For those of you who are ready, like myself, to make a commitment to a natural solutions lifestyle, want to be that solutions mm -hmm. provider for your own body in your own home, let's get this going on, right? So it's with that energy that we move into the close. And I promise you, we all promise you, this is a way to overcome self because you are overcome yeah. by your mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of effort has gone into the scripting here on this page. And as you see, there's two different options, option one, option two. Uh, again, like the other scripts, you know, make it your own. Don't read it word for word like a robot. People can tell and that's not sincere, right? So make it your own. But, but there are some phrases in here that are very particularly chosen to help with the close. And you guys know that I hate the phrase, the close, right? I, I just <laughs> like it because, but we all know what it means. It means getting the enrollment, right? Getting the sale. But to me, you close on a house, you close on a property, and then that relationship is over. You never see those people again. So I like to use the phrase open, right? Because you're opening them to a new lifestyle, a new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new relationship, and it doesn't end tomorrow or today. It's kind of like the word um, that we use for graduation, which is, um, oh my gosh, commencement, commencement right? Exactly. It has oh, like beautiful. dual meaning, beautiful. right? It's dual meaning. Beautiful. Okay, so let's practice. Casey, how about we read? Let's just kind of redo this for a second and start some conversation. I think it's just, it's deserving. You want me to read number one? Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the two most popular kits to get you started. This is the Home Essentials Kit, which comes with the top 10 oils, many of which we just talked about. It also includes a lovely diffuser for 275. The big favorite, however, is the Natural Solutions Kit. It literally comes with everything you see in the bathroom cabinet. Right, so this is from the class page where we show the bathroom mm -hmm. cabinet. So it does serve in that moment to have your natural solutions class handout open. You're pointing mm -hmm. visually to the entire bathroom cabinet that they've just had this exploration of. And then really the whole point was for them to get cabinet envy, right? <laughs> like go, how about a bathroom cabinet that looks that cool? And then when you say, and you can have it all in the natural solutions kit, they're like, mm -hmm. sign me up. Right. Yes. It is truly a lifestyle kit covering all three basic areas of interest being prep or being prepared, self care, and daily health habits. It comes with our finest diffuser, a box to store your oils in, and after placing your first loyalty rewards order, you automatically have 100 free products to use on some new favorite products to try. And bonus, you fast track yourself to the 15% level for your loyalty rewards points. You can see why this is our favorite kit. Now, obviously, that experience would be far more significant if you have the natural <coughs> solutions handout open, and it's what I call point and shoot. See it all, yeah. And point and shoot is great for two reasons. One, the class is staying with you. They, you're, you're literally telling them where to look, so you're holding it up and you're pointing to the kit, and then you're pointing to fast track, and perhaps you've already taken the time or will take the time at that point to explain what loyalty rewards are and why fast tracking is of value. Now, remember, you also have that potential new builder sitting in your audience because we expect as much as one in every five people sitting there will have some interest in doing this. And when they watch you point and shoot, what are they saying to themselves? I can do that. I can do that. That's yeah. easy. I can handle that. Okay, close number two. And the close, the close number two is more of 
just a simpler option, right? This is a family mm -hmm. essentials kit, more of a sample or travel size kit with 85 drops per bottle and it's $150. The home essentials kit has the same oils, but with 250 drops per bottle and a diffuser for only 275. That's triple the amount of oils for less than twice the money. Both kits come with frankincense, which retails for $92 a bottle. So as you can see from these two scripts, we're, we're kind of going into a little bit of why they would want each kit, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. help them know what you know that they don't know, right? Yeah. So many people, you know, I, I find that people sometimes start out with a family essentials kit and then a few days later, they're like, can I swap, swap this? But they've already used all their oil. <laughs> right, right, all right. their oil. So just disclosing early, right? Well, the, so a major, um, how do I say this in a way that people will receive it? Mm -hmm. A major, well, Justin, you already said that it's about choice, right? It's about giving right. people choices. So when you're in a sales environment, which admittedly we are here, we're selling a lifestyle. We're not selling oils. I want to be really clear about that. We are selling a lifestyle in a box, and it just depends right. on which lifestyle you want to start with. That by using comparison, you know, starting out. So doTERRA has a membership like Costco. And by purchasing right. the membership, you then get a discount, surprised, yeah. right? And so you're able to compare like there's retail, there's wholesale, <clears> and then there's below wholesale. <throat> and below wholesale is getting a kit because now your membership is free and all the products in there are discounted. So in both examples, you're creating a comparison yeah. to help the mind make a decision. Right. Because when I see the price tag on a family essentials kit, maybe the price tag was appealing until someone told me that I'm actually paying more per drop in a family essentials kit than I am in a home essentials kit. Like I'm wait, right. wait, I get twice it's important to point that three out. Three times right, right. as much oil for twice the price. <laughs> like that's a really good consumer. no brainer. Oh, and I get a diffuser. Yeah, then this then the decision for the person becomes no brainer. But when we don't give them a sense of comparison, they don't know how to make a decision. Right. It is our job to help them make a good buying decision. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. the reason why we have two options here, frankly, is because. The whole class is designed to support you in selling which kit? The natural, natural solutions. solutions. The natural solutions kit. And it's highly possible. That's all I sold at the beginning because I didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. And when doTERRA came out with the, the first iteration of the home essentials kit, I was like, wait, why would I drop all of my enrollments from 400 <laughs> sure. PV to 100 PV? Well, there's this fabulous concept that's been proven true people buy what we talk about. It's true. Mm -hmm. And so there was kind of a, a challenge in doTERRA for a while. Everybody was focused on teaching the Family Essentials Kit, just teach the Family Essentials Kit. So guess what people buy? Family, family Essentials Kit. And they're missing out on all these better options right. because we would just start not speaking to it. Well, right? and, and it's what we call selling <clears throat> from your own pocket, that we're afraid that people don't want to make the investment. And yet what we found statistically in doTERRA is there's actually a lot of consumers who were pretty grumbled later that they didn't get the better option. Can you imagine, like, look at how much uh, stuff oh. you get for free. Have you done the numbers on how much you actually get for free on a natural oh, solution yeah, yeah. kit? Like, oh, right it's, it's not the best. So what we're asking you to examine here is who's your audience? What offer you do on the way? I actually built doTERRA in the poorest county in the state of Oregon, the poorest county in the state of Florida, and one of those two counties is the third poorest county in the nation. And I'm here to tell you that people buy kits there. And I've sold more natural solutions kits in those environments than I have any other kit. Because you know what those people are buying? They're buying a quality of life. Right. When I'm sitting in front of a farmer whose body needs to function 12 hours a day, he's really excited about deep blue. When I'm sitting in front of that mother whose child isn't functioning well at school and she's spending a lot of time, energy, and money trying to solve that problem and she now has a simple solution, that five hundred dollars or whatever, or five fifty, is going a long ways for her in creating value. So it's all about how you want to position the value, and all we're inviting you to do is think about the person on the other side of you, and that you're bringing value in a lifestyle to them, and you're helping them initiate that process in the way that's the most successful for them. And you can do that if you've thought about them ahead of time. You can keep this this close really simple yeah. right mm -hmm. we don't want to you know there might be a few options on the page but you're deciding which ones to highlight right yeah um mm -hmm. highlight in on that natural solutions kit and then come back to the home essentials kit and like for example this month with the special that's available then you would say 
Pat and this Home Essentials kit and the Natural Solutions kit or these higher kits all qualify sure. for the special this month. So you could get the car diffuser and these three oils for free. Take a moment to give that special right at that. Yeah, time. relating yeah. it to whatever's going on mm -hmm. with DoTerra or maybe sure. something, some, that, something that's going on inside your team as far as promotions. Mm -hmm. One of the things I, I wanted to present is when I close a class, I only ever talk about the natural solutions kit. I use one kit as my example. The confused mind says no. Mm -hmm. So I want them to understand there's retail, there's wholesale, there's a below wholesale. Here's an example. It's this kit. These are all the things you save on it, including a free membership, get three points, everything. That allows me then to talk about the loyalty rewards program. And then that's the end of my discussion. Now when I'm one-on-one -on -one with them, and I've already invited them in my close to pick the kit that's best for them and right. their family. Now I'm in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Maybe this is where they're toggling from a budget perspective between family essentials and home essentials. That's when I'm actually going to use the second script, is I'm going to teach them the value of home essentials three times as many, as much oils, half the price, right. then I'm going to use that in that one-on-one -on -one conversation. And that's what I'm also going to point out. And by the way, you would also get the free special doTERRA has because that would take you over the 200 PV. Mm -hmm. So remember, this is why the class shouldn't be too long or the presentation right. because you save the time afterwards because they're going to capture more of that kind of information from you one -on -one. in the one-on-one. -on -one. And they're going to say, well, how did you start, Justin? What oh, did that you is get? such... I'm so glad you said that because that is a critical question and you don't think that they're going to ask it, but they will. They what did you do? Because it's social, you know, we all like to do what did they, what did they do? I'm going to do what they did, right? How did you get started, Natalie? And I would often say, well, back then, we didn't have very many options, <laughs> right? They were very limited. Uh, but if I had the options that were available today, I would start here, right? Because this would have been the best deal. Yeah. For sure. Well, and I would, I say, well, I bought the biggest kit doTERRA had one exactly. for my home and one for my business. Exactly. Because I wanted to get started right away with the lifestyle. I saw the value and yeah. I wanted to have as many things in my home right out of the gates. And I wanted to have an oil collection I could play, play with right away. And again, think of yeah. your audience who's in front of you. How can you best serve them? Well, and if, if you ever feel like, if you ever sense that the other person is feeling pressure, mm -hmm. you know, pressure, because mm -hmm. we don't do that, right? No. But if you, for some reason you ever sense that, I found it really effective to literally tell them, it doesn't matter to me where you start. Mm -hmm. What matters right. is that you start. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. It does matter to me that you start. Right. right. Where doesn't matter. Right. And, and it just diffuses, it takes all of that pressure out mm -hmm. and they can really focus in on what is best for their needs. It's just like the build guide and the sorting hat. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what you pick. It's that you pick to engage to start mm -hmm. changing your life. And then you can renegotiate your relationship with yourself later. It's important to get started. If you diffuse any pressure that they begin to feel, then they're free to make that mm -hmm. choice that's best for them. And you'll see right. in the black text on this page, it's choose the kit that's best for you and your family. I mean, these are some right. really clear statements mm -hmm. that you know. And then you just transition right into, hey, there's the essential oil infused treats over there. Enjoy those. And if you have any questions, you know, Lauren, I'll be coming around and we can answer any of those questions. Okay, so let's review what we know from the top half of the page. We seeded the close at the beginning and said, we're going to do three things. We got to the third thing was we're going to talk about how to get them in your home. So when you come to the close, you repeat that. All right, we talked at the beginning and now we're going to talk about how to get them in your home. You have pick a close, right? Pick a close, drive people to a particular kit choice. And then you're inviting the interaction after the interaction, right? That's the best part is the one-on-one. -on -one. And then what's keeping them there, what's anchoring them to stick around is the social experience of trying the snack, mm -hmm. the invitation to have your one-on-one -on -one attention. And they stay, they really do stay, right? Mm -hmm. There's, Unless your class is two hours, then they leave. Then they leave. <laughs> <laughs> they will leave. But you're dialing this in. That's so right. It's all within that hour. And you've got space. So these are just some great tips so that, you know, as you're encouraging them to get a, tit, a kit, they've got multiple products on hand. I always like to say, you know, <laughs> before Saturday night, you know, you need to have those oils in your home ahead of time. You get to be prepared with oh, those. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, the mm -hmm. time to have an oil is now so that at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning when the kid is like, um, that thing we ate for dinner? <laughs> Isn't really sitting very well right now? That thing. <laughs> Dinner was that good, huh? 
Yeah. So digest then right then and there, or, you know, I've sent kids off to college. The time to have a need when you live 2,000 miles oh, away man. from home is you already have the oil in your dorm room, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so we have tips here. Um, these are just things to help you, right, bring up. Mm -hmm. So number one, Natalie already said, where, you know, teach them to have products on him. Share with them what you loved and what you feel. Don't be afraid to suggest things to them. People need you. That's why that trusted guy with the lawnmower t-shirt guy is there to say, mm -hmm. hey, this is what I'm doing. That's mm -hmm. when that person really, really matters is they're wanting to look at what they did. And then always connect things back to people's priorities and help them see how is this kid going to benefit. Justin, you always do such a good job of teaching about the difference between features and benefits. Yes. Mm -hmm. We get distracted thinking that, because we all love that, doTERRA is debt free and the owners walk on water when it's frozen and that, <laughs> you know and that all this all these amazing factoids about doTERRA and and for a lot of years I was really distracted by that like I spent 10 minutes in my presentations talking about how amazing doTERRA is and and organic yeah and testing and I really <laughs> got into the factoids and while they're cool and they're important to us and we value them to the brand new person that's sitting there thinking I don't care, mm -hmm. right? What's, what, why, how does this affect me? What's the benefit to me? I need help with this issue. Great, the company's debt free, that's great. But what does that mean to me, right? right? Why does that matter? Well, so the factoids that are the most important, was, so I'll put myself in the position of a young mom who has precious bodies in her care. So what do I care about the most? That I am buying products from a company who is trustworthy. Okay, so how would we prove trustworthy? that I'm purchasing products that are pure. Okay, how would I prove pure? Right. Those are the factoids mm -hmm. that I need as right. a mom to feel safe about my decision that I'm getting value and I'm getting something that's beneficial right. and I'm getting something that's safe. So now we're anchoring back here. So now that she's over that, so we're actually overcoming some objections early. Do you want all those questions to come up at the end? What if you never talked about CPTG? What if you never separated doTERRA's oils from synthetic perfume oils in the industry? What if you never set them apart? Well, guess what you're gonna to have to answer at the end? So a lot of overcoming right. objections, the art of closing is that you already thought about the 10 things that's mm -hmm. already rolling through their mind. You've already answered them. They're now at ease to mm -hmm. now move in. Now they're really focused on themselves. Okay, I get that these things work. Now I wanna take care of me. And so really helping them make those connections is a super beneficial part of how you're present. And the good news is you don't have to think about all that stuff. Maybe we're going into like deep dive yeah. sales training here. Mm -hmm. So let go of all that. All we want in and out is if you simply follow the process we've laid out, you can't go wrong. We've right. got all that through mm -hmm. for you. We've got the right factoids on the page, mm -hmm. right? We haven't weighted it incorrectly. And at this stage, most of your closing, you know, you're going to have people that are helping you on a class typically. And most of your closing would be just in a little one-on-one. -on -one. So if you run into any objections, yes. These are the objections that that you can address, right? These are the most basic ones that we find most often. And, you know, these are just a simple response. I find that if I address an objection with a question, it helps the person mm -hmm. look deeper. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I, I don't have the answers for them inside of me. I never have to know all the answers the best answers are within them. So I'm just gonna bring a question back to them and they're gonna look deeper and we're gonna discover more. Well, the most powerful act is the act of self-selection. So by asking questions, you're inviting people to decide for themselves what is best for them. And that is the healthiest environment that we can create from a sales perspective, is to create a place where they feel, where they feel safe, not pressured, mm -hmm. and yet educated and empowered to make an excellent decision for themselves. I don't know about all of you, but when I first started doTERRA, I thought, you know, my husband and I worried whether we would have any friends in a year, right? Because, <laughs> <laughs> and now my only problem is I sometimes I have, have too many friends. I think, yeah. How do I connect with all these people? Right? How do I connect with all these people? We yeah. love it, right? But it's because we come at it in this way and help people really choose in with something that they feel good about that then we don't have buyer's remorse, we don't have people that wish they would have done something different because we've gone through this process. You know, I have, I have discovered when someone has an objection, it usually isn't their real mm -hmm. concern, right? It usually, mm -hmm. it's a front. 
There's something and so there. and so I have had great success just rephrasing whatever the objection was mm -hmm. back to them in the form of a question. Like reflective listening. Exactly. Right? So if Laura says to me, well, I can't really afford a kit uh, right now, you know, and that's her objection, then mm -hmm. I can just take that exact question and just flip a few words mm -hmm. and turn back to her. I'm like, well, what exactly does that mean you can't afford? And I'm just asking her, I want deeper. I want deeper mm -hmm. information, right? And maybe that gets into our sales training piece, which is coming at a different yeah. training. Yeah. Um, but it does let them really start to voice what's the real concern. Mm -hmm. right? Well, it really goes back, Justin, to the whole inviting thing. We said to connect, to share, and invite. So what if you use the same thing? So first I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect again. I care about you. And then I'm going to share. You know, I understand that. You know, when I signed up or whatever, I was concerned about money as well. And here's how I did that. And then invite. So I'm inviting you to make the decision that's best for you and your family. So what if we kept our sales training that simple? Reconnect authentically. First thing right. you know you care. Mm -hmm. To share, how did you deal with the same kind of an objection? Or how have you seen someone else? Maybe you don't relate personally, but surely you've probably seen somebody else. So share that, how someone else overcame. And then invite them once again to make the decision that's best for them. And right. everything that's being shared here is a wealth of experience. So if you want to dive deeper, you can watch mm -hmm. this again. We haven't actually done a role play on this close, but if you're in a typical launch training, you could do role play on this close. You could do role mm -hmm. play with some of these objections. Mm -hmm. So you just start feeling a little bit more comfortable. But no, on enrolling, you don't need to be an enrolling expert. You just need to ask these powerful yes. questions mm -hmm. and you'll get where you need to be. Everybody's selling something all the time. You're selling mm -hmm. your kids on dinner. You're selling your husband on why you want to go to that movie. You're selling your friends yeah. on why you're going to go to that restaurant. So yeah. you're not doing anything well, you don't already normally and do. And the number one thing that we're all always selling is ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's really true. Oftentimes, and this is kind of maybe bold to say, but oftentimes the people that come to your class have made the decision to join you before mm -hmm. the class even started it. Based on yeah. you and your service. Right. right? Yeah. Based on the interaction prior, they've already decided. And you haven't even started the meeting yet, right? And yeah. so it's it's crazy, but it's true. It is true. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. true. I ultimately let my passion lead my clothes. You know, so the way you speak and your conviction and your love for the product and the company is pretty much all you need. And then you just need to show them the solution. Exactly. So, so let's go back. Let's recap that we seeded the clothes at the beginning, which helps to remove the awkwardness. We're gonna do three things together, da 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 the third of which is, then we'll talk about how to get them in your home. So you arrive there, you've already given yourself permission to talk about it, and all you're tying it into is, now we're gonna talk about how to get that book in a box in your home, so you're prepared to be that solutions provider. And moving right on in, you know, and you can even say, you know, in my home, I started here and I loved it, and it changed everything. I mean, if you wanna tell a personal, 30 second story there about what you did before you even offer a kit. I think that's really valuable. It's just to speak from your experience because people want to know what did you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Step, step five. five. Step five. We are to our fifth and Home final stretch. chapter. Home stretch. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were to wait where you put your energy, right? So we talked about in the beginning, prepare. Mm -hmm. Then we talked about iping, which is everything you do with your prospects. And then we talk about support. We tend to spend a good portion of our energy in our iping zone, right? Where we're dating the prospect, we're presenting to them, we're enrolling them, we're following up with them. So the initial part of support is a critical piece to our success. In fact, there's this great quote that we all love, <laughs> which is, Thank you, Michael Klaus, right? Yep. Fortune is in the follow-up. And if you want to partake of doTERRA's stellar retention, this next step is everything. And we already talked about it earlier that moving into the lifestyle overview is in fact the second close. So how perfect, right? We just spent all right. this time talking about closing and enrolling. This is the second enrollment. And this is them enrolling permanently into their lifestyle really sometimes this gets overlooked, right? We focus so much on that first close and then getting kit when this makes all the difference because this is them knowing how to use the product, knowing how to bring them into their life. This is where we make the real impact, right? I like to say if you'll invest this one hour, you know, and, and it 
you can take less time than that. We just find that it takes about an hour to do a lifestyle overview. And if you'll invest that time with each person that you enroll, it will be worth its weight in gold. Totally. Now you're going to recognize the bullet points to your left were exactly the same bullet points when we were back on your Fuel to Launch page. And we were talking about the lifestyle overview for you, right, as a newer member. And now we're looking at it for you to turn and pay it forward with the same experience that you're teaching people. I love Melina Harrison always says, I don't want to sell you anything that you don't know how to use. And I think that's a beautiful mm -hmm. commitment that we're making. If I'm going right. to share with you, you need to get this kit. Well, let me teach you how to use it. As Natalie reminded us, again, back in our presentation, it's about setting up a daily wellness plan and the vitality of, of that and actually knowing how to use these things in your daily lifestyle. That's what we presented in the Natural Solutions presentation is have some daily health habits and helping people establish those as part of their everyday life. And this lifestyle overview is so key that we go into the steps one, two, and three of what it's all about. And here's just a little checklist for you. Um, that as you do it, you're just going to get more comfortable and more comfortable doing this. Um, you know, you can always send that live guide video that it had on the, the checklist from the page before. You can always send that to help prepare somebody. But this is very simple. You literally are walking through the live guide. You know, you know? since you brought that up, Natalie, yeah. let's just go back here really quick because I think what you said is important. So on the left-hand side, one of the things Natalie's indicating is we do have LibGuide videos. There's a couple of different ones you can use on the Empowered Success website that's a warm-up experience to prepare someone. If you want to do cut the time down, maybe you want to have your lifestyle and interviews be more time. like a half hour, mm -hmm. then let them come prepared to that process. Also, mm -hmm. there's going to be people in this situation who are going to have the time to do this one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. and then other people might find themselves in a space of more volume. Like maybe they maybe they're building online. Maybe you're right. enrolling a lot of people at a booth or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And so now all of a sudden you find yourself with 15 enrollments that you need. Maybe you had a really rock star weekend. You did four natural solutions presentations <laughs> in three days. You have 15 enrollments and you need to follow up with all of them. It's okay to also set up a group experience. Group, it could right? be a totally. Zoom call or even a conference call where everybody gets on and they're invited to have their lifestyle or the live guide in front of them and then walk them through it. And again, if that group came prepared having watched a video, then you could just walk each person through mm -hmm. doing the, uh, the actual steps. So, so you don't need to be attached to how it happens, just that it happens, mm -hmm. right? It's so essential. And you're gonna follow these same, the same checklist, whether you're doing it in a group setting or a one-on-one -on -one setting. Um, to address their questions, to help them see themselves in the lifestyle and, and get them connected. Every page of the live guide was carefully crafted. Oh man. Care, every word for that matter mm -hmm. was carefully crafted to ensure that this new consumer has the right initial experience, that we really mm -hmm. breathe life. It's really catered to them. It is. It's, it's so, so catered them. to them. Well, in fact, uh, if we were to just go back and reflect on page two, which is the page you know, to the left side of the lifestyle um, pyramid, there's a really great couple things in there. One, we're saying, welcome to your new self-directed healthcare, that this is what you're chosen. Then. Congratulations on choosing to live in power. Congratulations on choosing into the new 80-20 plan, which means you have a book in a box. So this is where we're presenting that being the solutions provider in their home to them is in the live guide. And don't, don't skim on this outline. Make sure you go through every part it's like an accordion as far as time goes. This can be done in shorter windows of time or greater windows of time, but move through it and make sure you're breathing life into the pages because this is a cute little booklet for them to go back to and reference, oh, yeah. right? You'll find the first part you're mostly flipping through, right? right? Until you get to the one with consult page on page 16. And there you're gonna go deeper into their their health, you know, concerns or the things that they want to focus in on and help them put together that plan. And then you're just simply, you know, after you've got that piece together, which will fuel their LRP for the coming months, it, it really sets all that up for success. Well, this is, this is the moment where you really have an opportunity to ignite the solutions provider in them. Because you have two pages next to each other. On the left, on page 16, you've got the wellness consult. So if you've got your live guide sitting next to you, this is a great time to have it open and be following along. 
on page 16, you've got your wellness consult, which is all again the right appropriate steps for helping to get their minds going. Starting out, however, with what do you have? So on the right, on page 17, there's a checklist and it's where they go in and they check off what they have. The best way to help them is to remember our promises. Mm -hmm. We want you to know how to use everything you've got. So check off everything they've got and then show them how to employ that mm -hmm. into their daily plan. And then also notice perhaps if they have some holes. And this is what helps them begin to build their next subsequent LRP orders over the next 90 days as they start to strategize what's my wellness plan for myself and my family and what other tools do I want to bring in? And there's some pros, <laughs> just like, you know, Natalie talked about earlier is the best way to move things forward and Justin is to ask more questions. And so let that whole, again, don't skim on that, that mm -hmm. wellness console. It also does a great job of, as we have here in step three, is the only way they're going to be a, a really great solutions provider is they have a book and a box, mm -hmm. right? So this is when we invite them to have some kind of reference guide or app that is that tool work without, all you need to know is your alphabet and you go look up anything that you want to solve right. and find some oil recommendations. So powerful. So then we go back to the big spread and, and what's on the other side is this new member follow-up. And this just gives you a visual of the process that you're, you're in in this follow-up process, right? So once they've enrolled, they've, then we're having this lifestyle overview, whether there it's one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. And then at the end of this, you'll notice on the back of the lift guide, again, like we were talking about earlier, it forks every time. So um, we're gonna give them the option to continue as a customer where they're gonna just keep using the products for their health. They're gonna en enroll probably as a wholesale customer and they may or not be on LRP. If they choose to share, they want to share with those they love because we've we've given this invitation there at the end, then they're going to continue on to see how that arrow is taking you to the share guide for that hosting overview. And then we've got the class that they can help host, right? If they choose to build a business and they want to create an income, then our next step will be going to the build guide for the business overview and then moving forward to the launch. So this just gives you a quick visual overview of the path. As each person chooses the path they want to take in doTERRA, um, the guides are just there to support those key paths, those key choices. Yeah. And we these initial guides cover the important conversations, right? All these key conversations. So Natalie, if we go all the way back to our image of the pipe, from the build guide when we talked about hiring the guides mm -hmm. to do a job for you right and so I, I want you to have your eyes on that when you go and you look through a natural solutions handout you're going to come to a page where there's multiple guides that are being shown and we're mm -hmm. offering people to change lives their own as well as others and then we come to the end of the share guide and what do we have we have an invitation to move into the build guide and we come mm -hmm. to the end of the live guide and there's an invitation, the build guide. Every guide always seeds the next interaction. Mm -hmm. And so I love that you pointed that out, that if, in fact, if we go back a slide, and whoops, wrong way, and we look here again, that the third section here, right, is connect, and, and so they're being connected to the community. You've got a community that you can hook them into by way of doTERRA's education, mm -hmm. or your team education, or both, where they join a, team, a community of education, and then as you've talked about on this next page, whoops, I keep going the wrong direction, there we go. There's a sorting hat here. Now, some people will know early on that they're ready to be a sharer or they're ready to be a builder. Others, it'll take time. And so this isn't your one and only time to place yet another sorting hat in front of them. The point here and why this is being mentioned is you have a 14 day window that upon enrolling a wholesale customer, which the majority by far of your enrollments will be a wholesale customer, then it, it behooves you to, to connect with them, right? So during that lifestyle overview, this is a time when you're identifying additionally, what, what level of play do they wanna be about? So then you can service that level of play and, and that interaction really gives you permission to have that. Now when it comes to the, all these guides, we are not doing a deep dive on every guide and swamping you with like a bazillion ideas mm -hmm. in education. We're trying to work through the launch guide particularly 
we want to invite you to go back to the Empowered website, just like we talked about earlier today, and know that there is a deeper dive education on every single one of these guides. So when it comes to doing a lifestyle overview, it's one of, just like closing and enrolling, it's one of your most important early skills. So how are you going to master that? Just like teaching a class, we recommend that wherever possible, do your first few with an upline. So invite your upline mm -hmm. to hang with you and do a first few lifestyle overviews and or get on the website and watch a couple experts, right? Teach how to do one of those and then you can replicate that. And so use that website as a really great point of education. Okay, we're on the wow. homestretch here. Last two pages. I think, they, I think they should all know some history about this page. <laughs> <laughs> this, this page probably took three months. <laughs> Maybe yeah, more. That's after we spent half years. Years. I know. <laughs> when, when you get a lot of uh, driven leaders in the same room, there, there is no one way to do this business, right? There are many, many ways. And it took a, a little bit of consensus building for all of us to come to agreement on one philosophy, one approach to placement, to strategy and placement. This is one that will work for you from the Absolutely. get go and that mm -hmm. you can trust. And I love that it's built on, you know, in doTERRA, the main principle of placement is just placing people where they will grow best. Um, when you trust that process and follow that principle, everything seems to work out in the end and you're going to get the growth that you desire. And so that's, that's the very first of these powerful well, tips. So what we're saying is, <laughs> if you were to come to us and say, well, where should I place this person? Right. There is no hard and fast rule. Mm -hmm. no. it's, Correct. it's always going to be about the person. It always mm -hmm. depends. Right. It always depends. And the answer is always, yeah. well. It depends. <laughs> it depends. Right? Now, how, so why have we preempted the placement conversation with the lifestyle 14-day strategy? Because what we're teaching you is, it depends on what you know. It depends on what you've experienced. So when you take the time, to have a lifestyle overview with someone and you have an idea, you've had questions, you've had interactions, you're able to seed then your knowledge because that's why doTERRA, I mean, my gosh, how forgiving and how supportive of doTERRA to let us enroll someone in our family tree and then move them once within the 14, 14 days. Oh, yeah. no, no one does that. No. Way. no one no. does that. Mm -hmm. It is a, a completely unique benefit to being part of doTERRA is that we have that trial and error window. You know? Right. So honor doTERRA's window. There's a reason why it's 14 days. There's lots of reasons because they want to honor their own comp plan and make sure that people are using that wisely. Mm -hmm. And so there, there's a contract between us and doTERRA where doTERRA is saying, we're inviting you to take a couple weeks to do that really, really mm -hmm. critical follow-up and really nurture your new enrollment, discover their goals, help them discover their goals, right? That person doesn't know what they don't know. So don't assume they know immediately, I want to be a customer, <laughs> sure, or a builder. That's us presenting yeah, the yeah. possibilities to them. We're back to everything is a book of possibilities and exposing them so they can make their own best decisions. So work with the people that brought you into their Terra. Consult with them initially as you get the hang of this placement strategy, right? And that will serve you well. Um, you know, we have this whole wholesale customer. Um, piece that should be considered in here, but just as an over, yeah. <laughs> There's two tops to this, so we'll go to this top first. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> and we're all like, nobody was ready. Ready. Yes. Well, no, I think we just got confused about where we are. Okay, so the top of the page, the next slide is on the on the left hand side, um, the top portion of the page. We're just right. giving some basic placement okay. tips. You deserve to read through all of this. And okay, so let's just read this. The pace of building team structure varies depending, there's that word, mm -hmm. depending on when your builders or business partners are enrolled and engaged determines the rate at which you launch each new leg. Well, what if you sign that person up as a customer a year ago and now they want to build? Well, they can now be converted mm -hmm. to a wellness advocate. And guess what? The clock mm -hmm. starts ticking all over again. Right. And now you can move them again because doTERRA is so generous. So for example, some start with one builder and grow from there, while others may start with three legs. Perhaps they begin with a larger network or previously established relationships. That was myself. I'd been doing wellness for a long time. I had a lot of people and I brought a lot of people on quickly. Other times what I tell people is, gosh, really, you've got this one builder, they're showing up in your world, nurture, really get them to a level of success, focus. 
and then it's kind of like raising babies. Sometimes it's hard to raise triplets. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> okay, now for the un unintimidating topic of wholesale mm -hmm. customers. So Tara has made some changes in their compensation plan, which for those of you who are new, York, you don't care about the history, it's just what is. But this is a beautiful thing. Backstory, wholesale customers are not limited to the same sharing as a wellness advocate. So this allows someone who simply has no interest in making money in doTERRA the ability to keep their experience in a customer lane and also allows them to interact with their stories differently than someone who is earning an income and then has the right to actually sponsor people underneath them. So Justin, what's our recommendation as a whole? It was the general thing about enrolling people. So general recommendation is that everyone begin as a wholesale customer, mm -hmm. uh, unless they are out of the gate talking the business, or maybe they even have an enrollment or two ready to go. They're ready then to build. They're ready, yeah, and obviously mm -hmm. they have to be a wellness advocate right away, right? Uh, a wholesale customer cannot have any people enrolled in their team because they can't have a team because they're a customer. They can't earn money. They can't earn money. They can't earn commissions. They can't enroll other people. They are they are in the true sense of the word a customer. Customers. Yeah, most direct selling companies in our profession, the majority are in it for the business, right? Mm -hmm. The product is just kind of a almost an honorable mention, <laughs> <laughs> right? At, at some of their meetings, they hardly talk about the product, mm -hmm. right? And then when those customers do decide, and this just happened to me two weeks ago. Um, my neighbor, he's been enrolled for nine months and just, you know, casual product user. He hadn't even ordered every single month. It was more like every other month or so. Hmm. And just out of the blue at church, he starts asking all the right questions. And so guess what? He's a wellness advocate now, <laughs> right? And off to the races we go. And it just took a little bit of time, you know, to get into this. Hey, you know, I'm really loving what this is doing. Let's talk, you know, let's talk about it. And now he upgrades and that opens this a 14 day window, a second 14 day window because you have the initial one when they first enroll, then when they upgrade, which is free by the way, upgrading takes two seconds. Mm -hmm. They click on uh, become a wellness advocate, they put in their tax ID number, in their back office. Right, whatever country you're in here in the US, it's their social security number, and they do that in their back office and boom. And then you get this fun little email that says, so-and-so just upgraded, you now have a 14-day window. This goes to the enroller by the way, you have to be the enroller. If you're not the enroller, it's gonna go to whoever is. And it's going to be their choice as to if they want to move them. And this is only if it's after 90 days. Correct. Right? So you have the first 14 days that they could upgrade and you could change their placement. If right. In that 90 day window, after day 14 up to 90, they upgrade to a wellness they advocate. Stay they, they, they stay are. where they are. Yeah. So you might want to think a little bit strategically about timing of the yep, yeah. yeah. customer. Yeah, about timing and a customer's placement. What I love about this whole process is let's go all the way back again to how we started our day with Feel Your Launch. Page four of the launch guide, right? First thing that happens that fuels your rocket is your belief in the product. So never feel bad about a 90 day window or nine months, whatever the case is, where someone is fueling right. their heart and their mind with the courage to share because the oils are rocking their life, right? And that's what this Absolutely. whole that's what the whole margin of time is for. One of the top, top leaders in all of doTERRA, as she begins launching every new builder, the first thing she invites is somewhere between 60 to 90 days of really dedicated product use. Mm -hmm. Because she knows that when they have that experience, and I'm not saying that everybody, you know, that's just what she's doing. That's her best practice. Mm -hmm. I think there's something to that to make sure you're focusing on product education and product love. Otherwise, we're just one of those other companies where we're simply selling a comp plan and we're completely missing the boat. And again, this is what makes us so unique in doTERRA is we have such a strong product offering. Totally. totally. The last thing on this bullet list is literally placing those customers, whether it's initially or when, they, um, when you're moving them after they upgrade to being a wellness advocate, where they may have similar interests with others they already yeah know. common right you're creating community oh yeah. yeah for sure you also want to make sure this this structure suggestion that's here is brilliant um, because i've seen too many people take customers and just stack them on their front level wow. uh, i was looking at someone the other day they literally have over 25 customers on their front level and it it and it if doesn't you've done that don't worry yeah, that's true <laughs> maybe that's you <laughs> don't worry but this is the ideal, right? <coughs> Correct. Just so we can line out that ideal. So let's pause for just a second and let's just be uplines together for a minute. So those of you who are new to launching their business, 
And those of you who are listening who are going to train those who are new. It's our commitment as an upline to teach people. When they made a commitment to make money, then it's our commitment to teach them how to we do it. We need to guide them. We need to guide them. They don't know what they don't know. And so a person who has 25 customers <coughs> strung across their front line didn't realize there was a different they didn't know. structure. They didn't know. Yeah. And so as an upline, take a look at that and say, you know what? I can increase yeah. my education on compensation. Honestly, do we all not want engagement here? Do we not want totally. our builders to come yeah. and stick around? Well, guess what's one of the best ways to keep them? Right. To get results, right. to actually oh, make a paycheck. Totally. So structure is everything to that. So look here at the and, diagram. And those of you that are new, if you don't know, please ask. Right. Right. Go. I mean, all of us sitting here, we want that interaction. If it, it go to your upline silver, your upline diamond, uh, you will, and maybe you'll have to call a couple people. You know, some of you, you can call one person. Maybe it'll be two or three people, but you will find someone that will support your question as to where I should place someone. So this is probably one of these lessons where we don't want to overwhelm you if you're new and we don't want to underwhelm you if you're new because then later there could be regret. So I'm going to explain just a little principle and I want you to hear me really, really well. On the very next page, the last page in the guide, we're going to talk about finding business partners. And these two pages are next to each other for a reason. So the ideal structure here is that on your front line, you necessarily have to have builders, or in other words, wellness advocates, because you can't place anyone under a customer. So let's put yourself in the shoes of your initial build to your team. You're starting out with your list, you're hosting presentations in your home, at your work, wherever, and now you have 10 new customers. So now what are you gonna do with them? If you have no other wellness advocates on your team, there is no other place to put your customers. They will be strung across your right. line. That would be the yeah. other reason why you'd have 25 people. Now, what could you do with your 14-day window? If This is why I like to do yeah. more than one class at a time when somebody's first building. I have a little philosophy that I've done 24 times on my team, and it kind of happened by accident, and then I caught, a, caught, I caught on to my own acts, and I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool. It came out of necessity because I was traveling to builders, and so we needed to do a lot of events in a short window of time when I was there, I was raising five kids. I couldn't luxuriously hang out at their house for 30 days. <laughs> I could hang out for three days. So then we would stack some classes. We'd have, I'd fly in on Thursday. We'd do on Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning, I'd fly home. So necessarily then we would have a lot of enrollments, right? So now you can have 10, 12, 15 enrollments, even in a weekend, because you've done a series of classes repeatedly. And that's easier perhaps on that upline person who's going to come help you is you're kind of in this together and getting it done. Well, now in your 14 day window, while you're following up, because you have more people to work with, let's say you haven't recruited any business partners yet. You can recruit them out of your customers. And because you're doing your lifestyle overviews and you're seeding the next action mm -hmm. and you're asking questions, you can identify a few people out of that collection who would potentially be interested in having a business. And then they can convert to wellness advocate and you can build the very structure you see here. Now picture as well that there would be customers even across your own front line. Ideally to solidify future bonuses, you would have three builders and maybe also three customers because that creates the kind of volume you'll need to always qualify. And then the same would be true for your second level that you may, they may have their three builders but also have some customers to sure up that volume. So hoping that gives you a good big picture to help you see some strategy ahead because we don't want you ending up with 10 people on your front line, and then your paycheck isn't what you're dreaming of because you're lacking. Mm -hmm. doTERRA literally does pay you for structure. It's one right. of your four mm -hmm. bonus pathways, right. right? And I love that it's outlining your business partners. You're gonna see this on the very next page, are, are committed and capable. If we're looking at this ideal layout, you're looking for somebody that's committed, they completed the three steps in the build guide, and they're, um capable because they can enroll someone on their own so these guidelines lots of top leaders have used this in their placement structure and it's really helped them. yeah so, so this is proven over time mm -hmm. let's preempt the next slide with the following statement and that is that let's say this is your build these are your people these are your enrollments what are you going to do with them and again picture that we don't want to make the diagram all cluttered but picture that at each level you have, again, pocketed customers mm -hmm. in there to shore up volume. So this is kind of how would you play with the leads that you have and how would you structure them? And then when your person comes in, 
they're going to tuck in their own structure, mm -hmm. right? So when you look at your first three business partners and then they have builders underneath them, those could be your enrollments of people who maybe have a lesser commitment to building and sharing. And then so you're pocketing them into different teams. But that still allows your builder to come in and bring in their own business partners. And so all the while you're sharing up the structure, but building towards a valuable income, which takes us to the next discussion, mm -hmm. which is you have to understand enroller and sponsor in order to create structure. Enroller is such a key part and you as the first one that's sharing with someone or bringing them to a class, um, you would be that enroller and you would stay that enroller. Um, you're going to keep that enrollership until it makes sense to transfer to the sponsor or another builder for rank advancement. But there's a lot of things that that hinge on enroller in doTERRA. It's the person that receives fast start or whoever that enrollee was for their first 60 days of their enrollment. We get that question a lot, right? Mm -hmm. If you're the enroller, you are going to get the fast start bonus for that first 60 days. And anyone that you enroll throughout your whole experience in doTERRA, you are going to get that fast start again every time you enroll. So Casey, when you, because, you know, as a doTERRA presidential double diamond, you've obviously built a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what have you found? Because we're talking to a, either a new builder themselves, or we're talking to a leader who wants to teach a new builder. And this is probably, I mean, why do you think Justin paused and gave you the backstory on the history of building the page? Because it's like this delicate balance between, we got to tell you some things, but we don't want to overwhelm you. So when, you, when you're talking to a new builder and you're thinking about enroller sponsor, what are the things you really want them to grasp at this stage in the game? Yeah, so I always, I keep it super simple and I speak to the message that the enroller is, basically the person that you've enrolled or invited to the class and the sponsor is merely just placement. So you still hold enrollership of that person that you place within your organization. And this is the beauty of doTERRA. I, I truly, this is probably my very favorite part about the business is that the way that this is structured is that we are all part of a partnership. So by being able to sponsor our enrollments underneath our teams, we're creating leadership within them as well as protecting ourselves within the structure that doTERRA pays us off of. So sponsor is placement and enroller is the person that you personally enroll or bring to the event. So what I'm kind of hearing you say is like let's say you had 10 babies. Mm -hmm. You can try to raise them all yourself <laughs> <laughs> or you could share the love in the community, right? And so we can leverage exactly. the sense of community. So hence the diagram of showing mm -hmm. And, and really, it's so important to hear you and Natalie talk about enroller goes to the person who literally enrolled the person, mm -hmm. and it can be given away. It's the person that introduced them. Yeah, it's yeah. the person who brought them to yeah. the feast. Right. And it can be given away, but it needs to be given away strategically because it is kind of like adopting mm -hmm. off a kid. So the sponsorship allows a semi-adoption off. So like I've placed, for example, I go. just enrolled someone that's mm -hmm. a contact, and I placed them on my team in a place strategically because I know the kind of care they're going to need. Mm -hmm. And I know my I know my assets and I know my limitations at this point. Like Natalie said, you get a lot of people in your life, right? You start, okay, how many people can I manage and can I manage successfully? So I'm sharing that contact with someone who I know has the capacity to provide care that I'm going to be limited. And together, we're gonna to be a better upline to that person than it were if it were individualized. It also could be a relationship, it might be, mother's cousins, neighbor's friends, brother, <laughs> and you start looking at how do I cluster people by who knows who, and how do I honor relationships? So such, again, a tough subject in some ways, and yet so mm -hmm. essential that we really want you to get yourself, get dirty here, like jump in this water mm -hmm. and get messy. And really the best way to learn placements is to place people. <laughs> and that's where you learn the way, right? And you know what, you will make mistakes. You don't will. beat yourself yeah. up you it happens to all of us and you learn from them and you and know you sometimes you learn to trust the process that yeah. the mistake really was a miracle right and if you would hold it in that space it's fun to mm -hmm. watch what emerges and what blessings can come of what you could like kick yourself because like oh why didn't i put that person mm -hmm. on my front line and yet just mm -hmm. look why hey there's a natural alliance that occurred here with two people how can i 
foster and nurture them. Mm -hmm. And the beauty too, just to keep in mind, is that you really can't mess up yes. with doTERRA's comp plan. As long as you hold enrollership, you could place them on your third level and they could be amazing over time. And it, it's okay. Like just embrace that and know I that you're doing the right I think our compensation plan is a forgiveness plan. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, well, we know you messed that up, but hey, here's plan yeah. A, B, C, and D <laughs> as to ways you can still be compensated, right? <laughs> well, That's and right. now you'll notice on this page, there's a couple key tips. Now placements have become really easy. So just be, be as intentional as you can be mm -hmm. in this process. Follow these guidelines here and it tells you how to change sponsor on mm -hmm. this page you can do that from your back office and there's a lot of great info there about on that yes. web, on that website there's a there's tutorials yes mm -hmm. there's a lot of great content that goes far more in depth than what we have here and if you need help or an exception or you have a question there email placements at doterra.com that's what they, they are for. brilliant at what mm -hmm. they do they are absolutely brilliant and i'm so glad you emphasized Really, so go to your back office, go to your team tab. Team, yes. And on the left, there's these little links there. Take the time to go learn about placements. And maybe mm -hmm. the first time you read it, you're kind of like dizzy with like stuff. You're like, what? But just keep at it, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're still yeah. at this stage of the game 10 years in, there's just nuances. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of it is you'll learn what you need to learn when you need to learn it, right? Yeah. And it's fun too, when we get together, just even as presidentials, I hear us having the same conversations that you're probably having with your upline. Where would you place this individual? And we, <laughs> we work through the same conversations. Don't that tell them that. <laughs> the same conversations you're working through. So make sure you reach out to trusted individuals. Well, so the reality check, Justin, right, is that placements is still it's, ne it's never a perfect science. You never get better at it because you get to literally, in a sense, prejudge yeah. the future yeah. of your relationship of this interaction and what this individual will create right. and what you can create together. Well, and, and so much, and this leads perfectly into our next topic, is so often people will say that they're going to do X, Y, Z. Right. And as you know, that doesn't necessarily mean it will happen, right? Yeah. And so it comes to that question of, Laura, how do I find my builders? Right. Okay, how do I, last how page, do I right? find builders? I hear this question so much. Yeah, how do I find them? How do I keep them? How do I love on them? How do I grow them? Like, it's like of all the mentoring questions we get, right. like we get to end, right? We've climbed Mount Everest together. Or maybe I have to make it that big. We've climbed <laughs> together. I was thinking that was kind of exhilarating. Um, I, I love this discussion. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. And you know, I just want to preempt where we're about to go. I just want to prepare your heart and your mind in this way. Mm -hmm. I think for people who feel like they're suffering in this topic, one, they're limiting themselves or they're limiting the potential of people. So mm -hmm. we've already, I think Casey earlier was so good to tell us when we're writing our names list, don't prejudge. Mm -hmm. And so that would be the first filter we would give you going into this conversation. The second filter is this is a two-way contract and the disappointments come so often because of how we cared for them. Remember, the fortune is in the follow-up. People don't know what they don't know. Their right. commitment and their capacity is hinged on the environment that we create. So if we can go all the way back to the beginning and we said, hey, you want to invent your own system, knock yourself out. The reason why we're here and we're doing this with you is we want you to have time freedom. Casey, I heard you say you'd like a little bit more time, which means you could take a new builder, send them mm -hmm. to this training, let them have four hours of exposure, and then it doesn't have to go from your lips to their ears. Mm -hmm. They can go back and review it. They can watch it an hour at a time. So be really strategic, but understand that as we move into this, this is a, we were to the repeat portion of what Justin taught us. Mm -hmm. It's use, share, teach, repeat. So now we're into repeat because duplication is the magic. So just have a couple filters in your mind moving into this, like what's your place, What's your mindset? It will totally determine your outcome here. Absolutely. So I've heard this one. Is it a numbers game? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Did you hear that from all of us? We all <laughs> said all yes. Said yeah. Yes. Is it a numbers game? <laughs> yes, very much so. So we're back to page successes scheduled, mm -hmm. which is page six of the launch guide. We wanted to remind you that this is the time to remember the bottom of the funnel. This is just our average stats. Again, what is it again? Results will vary, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Results will vary. So average with 45 invites, 30 people presented to 15 enrollments, approximately three people 
out of 15, again, statistically in doTERRA, will have an interest in creating a business. So maybe you've already invited this many. If, if you haven't found those builders yet, just keep going a little bit mm -hmm. further. Statistically, one to two out of every 10 are interested in building doTERRA. So sooner or later, you're gonna find those builders. For sure. So really it's up to you. The amount of traffic you have in your pipeline will determine the outcome. Mm -hmm. So if you have just a trickle of water moving through, you're gonna have a trickle of results. If you have a stream going through your pipeline, you're gonna have a stream of results. If you have a like powerful say, turn flow, up the flow, right? right? Turn mm -hmm. up the flow. If yeah. you want to find more builders, turn up the flow in your pipeline. Well, and the more builders you have, the more your pipeline grows, right? So if you try to do this by yourself and you're just taking care of a bunch of customers only, then you aren't experiencing the gift of duplication. You get clear on your goal here and the intention. Yeah, I love how it outlines, you know. Set a goal to find these three builders during your first 30 to 90 days. The sooner that you have that, have those builders, then these, these builders can become your business partners and placement and everything else start lining up a little easier. Well, yeah. essentially, if you don't have any wellness advocates under you and you keep enrolling and enrolling and enrolling, the only thing you can have is a string of customers on your front mm -hmm. line. So it's really imperative to compensation that right. you must seek out wellness advocates mm -hmm. in your life. And you know, maybe early on, it's your mom and your sister, mm -hmm. right? And they right. become the first wellness advocates on your team and you're placing customers under them. And then over time, you're perfecting yeah. your, your, and sometimes they could become the best builders on your team. Right. Other times they mm -hmm. remain casual, but at least you're creating something while you're out there seeking yeah. your, your greater. And so many times we get distracted looking for the perfect builder <laughs> like i've had i'm just i'm looking for just that right person they're going to walk in they're going to be sharp they're going to be professional they're going to be able to dazzle the crowd and so we spend all this energy banging our heads against the wall looking for that person when we have this entire army of customers and maybe sharers that we could develop amazing leaders from that group but we're not even looking them at them because we're distracted looking for the builder. Oftentimes in doTERRA, oh, the man. best builders and leaders are not born, they're oh, made in yeah. the process. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They, they develop, develop from our existing group. And so, so the, the moral in that is don't miss out on yeah. amazing leaders <laughs> that just love up, inspire, yeah. care for, right? This is all about the support. Yeah. And I, asking. I, I mean, I, yeah. I, the trend that I see generally speaking when people have are covered in customers is they just have never asked. Mm -hmm. They, they don't even know what to say. And we've just provided you with, you know, all the tools that you need. So ask mm -hmm. real quick. Let's just tell a little story. So when Natalie and I started again, I'd already been in the wellness industry as a professional running a wellness center for 12 years. Natalie was new. She'd actually been my student. She'd come to my holistic health coaching class multiple times and was working it at home, right? She was being a solutions provider at home while I'm being a solutions provider in my business. Mm -hmm. Now, when she brought me to doTERRA to meet the owners, I mean, again, there's like 1,100 of us, so you could do that kind of stuff back then. <laughs> and we walked out the door. She said to them, I'm going to do this big. Now, she'd never done network marketing before. I had done it 11 times. 11 times I had tried this mm -hmm. and failed. So what did it take? Natalie, my inexperienced upline, calling me and nudging me every month. Like, oh, did you know if you did this, you could earn your power of three? I finally got it nine months in, right? <laughs> and then it was her nudging me. I treated doTERRA as a hobby for two years. Natalie got to it. She got to it with commitment. She didn't let her lack of experience in the business or the product stop her. Her team is over four times larger than mine, and she's always out earned me double because she simply got to it sooner. And I think I love our story that although I had the quote unquote more experience, she mm -hmm. had the commitment, okay? We, I was looked at as having the capacity and yet look at her, she's the top earner in the company. And I love that she models that for us because Natalie models exactly what you're looking for. She is the essence of this slide, committed mm -hmm. and capable, right? She, she had the commitment of a warrior or a warrior, right? <laughs> And her capacity was in being herself, that what Natalie believed in was being in a solutions provider in her home, and she believed that other people could do it as well. And that is the mission she's moved from the beginning and continues to, 
And that is what inspired the masses on her team to join the forces because they could see themselves in it. And that there, there could not be a better example in doTERRA. And so remember, this is a two-way relationship. It's a contract. We have a part and the person has their part. So thank you to Elise Shedevy, who helped to put this into words for us. And she helped us qualify this. So what mm -hmm. does committed mean and what does capable mean? And I love what you outlined, Lara, that anybody can choose to be committed. And so for each of you listening right now, you can be completely committed. And you're watching for that commitment in the people that you sign up by them just completing those three steps in the build guide. And for a reminder, what are those three steps? They were to, you know, we started out with that at the very beginning. They're the first three bubbles at the very beginning, right? It has number one is do a natural solutions class and, and have a, a lifestyle overview. overview. Number two is go through the share guide and learn how to share and invite. Mm -hmm. Number three is hop into those launch and start launching your business. So we can say a big congratulations to whoever's on. Because you've all done it. Because we've made the <laughs> assumption that you're actually in step three. And if you weren't exposed we've to the possibility, okay. like mm -hmm. we want to encourage you to go back and make sure you've been exposed to any steps that may. And mm -hmm. hey, don't think that anything's wrong that you're here. It's just if any of those got skipped in your process, make sure you have those Fill them in, in your so quiver. You have a yep. Foundation. Yep. yep. Yeah. And then being capable. It's simply someone that enrolls someone on their own in the first 14 days of committing to build. And that's just mm -hmm. one, one way to right. measure that, right? Mm -hmm. I think we're all capable yes. in mm -hmm. lots of ways, but that's a great indicator of capacity. But really, honestly, you don't have to go through all this training to enroll mm -hmm. someone. So that's the right. idea is capacity looks like just kind of figuring yeah. out how to place an order like we do mm -hmm. online, right? Mm -hmm. It's a simple process and being able to walk someone through that. They've taken the initiative to go and do it, right. right? Regardless of how much they've been taught to this point, yeah, That's what we're looking for. for sure. So as we're digging for those developing, let me change that word. As we're developing those leaders, those mm -hmm. business partners, looking for our team captains is a phrase that I like to use often. Um, we do want to keep our eyes and ears open for certain attributes and skill sets. Mm -hmm. And to me, and you see a whole list here on the left of you know ideal candidates right people that are relationship oriented they are open to a natural healthy active lifestyle goal, goal oriented ambitious positive passionate you know are they an entrepreneur are they in a phase of life that can support a business are they looking to improve their finances or better their future i mean any number of these if someone possesses them are a huge plus right that we would might include them on this list to the right of potential business partners. To me, the number one thing is, are they hungry mm -hmm. for change? And obviously I don't mean hunger as in food, but <laughs> are they hungry to, for some aspect of their life to change, whatever it is? And do they have any of these other attributes? And these, these are the people I'm gonna put in that potential business partner column mm -hmm. and then be working with them to see if they will fit into that role. Yeah, so you're really looking for people that you want to partner with, that you want to build this business with long term. I always ask people, if you could work with anyone, who would it be? Mm -hmm. And this, you're just going to fill this in with some of those ideas. And maybe those people are already coming to your mind. They don't have to have all of the things in that list over the side, just any of them. Right. And you can use your name list mm -hmm. that you've already created, because we did that earlier, as a springboard to, to put names in this new group of potential business partners or team captains. You know, who are the people that come to mind? And um, let's get them in the conversation and in the pipeline. One technique that you can do on the success tracker page, and we'll kind of leave you with this homework to do, is go down that list that Justin just read through and put tally marks by some of the people that you've listed out here, right? And those, those names that have the most tally marks next to them might be mm -hmm. the most successful builders or right. business partners that you might want to approach in that way of, hey, we're doing this. Do you want to partner with us? Absolutely. So uh, we're going to invite you as homework because we're, we're almost out of time. 
and we're going to wrap up here in a, a few minutes, um, but as homework to really look through that list and identify your potential business partners. And some of them might be on your chicken list. <laughs> go for it. So right? absolutely, absolutely go for it. I just want to reiterate that those prompts in that orange box, the bullets are such good triggers, right? The ones yeah. you had on the previous slide, like really, other way, oh. those, there we go. Those um, bullet points there, those are your, like, again, every word in the guide has been crafted mm -hmm. for you. We've been thinking about you at every step of the way to make sure you're as prepared and as nudged in the right direction possible. So these are just great things to get your mind going. And I love this tie between your success tracker list and this list, because now you can go, that's why, again, why take the time to write that list? Because you're gonna work that list in multiple ways and let it work for you and really be in touch. Plus, if you can put these into your conscious mind, then not only are you gonna be able to spot people on your success tracker list, but you're gonna be able to spot people in life. Right. Because somebody's gonna stand out to you. You're gonna be in a conversation and maybe it's somebody at church, maybe it's the neighbor next door. Maybe it's the woman in line with you at the grocery store. It can be anywhere, but because you're conscious about these bullets, you're suddenly going to find yourself recognizing possibilities better than you would have had you not taken the time to think those and things through. And attracting that, right? And you're attracting going to be that. a builder magnet yes. because of that awareness. So don't miss this idea here at the bottom. Go to your success tracker and tally right when you write those names down did you guys already say that yeah okay great well i'm just reiterating <laughs> <laughs> okay we're down to the bottom half of the bottom half of the bottom half so uh the second part of train find your builders is now what do you do with them right and so this is just a reminder yeah. to take them through the business overview with the build guide right and that process is so natural and so right. simple again you know what i love about even this whole launch training is uh, you didn't even need us to be here, right? We breathed life into a few of these things, but the essentials are here in the launch. Just as in this process of sharing the opportunity, the essentials are in the build guide. You open it up, you breathe life into it, you share your experiences, and you're going to inspire them. There's some really yummy things right here. Because our whole goal was how could we say the most in the fewest amount of words? So pay attention to the last sentence in the paragraph, knowing their desires. So again, you would have asked questions through all that inviting process. Knowing their desires helps you connect their goals to doTERRA's solutions. And in this case, it's an opportunity solution. So now you have three steps. Get the message in front of them, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or group. Invite them at the right time, right? Because remember, inviting is earned. Invite them at the right time to become your partner. And then where, where do we find ourselves? We find ourselves where we began, which is we're back, back to the in three the steps. Guy in the build guide mm -hmm. and the last sentence knowing really goes with that tony robbins quote in order to influence someone you need to know what already influences them so this is that connection part it's care enough to know so then you can make the natural and it's okay if like this doesn't work for everyone right mm -hmm. this is you looking for people who are looking for your offers for your solutions for your opportunity knowing how to connect them for them okay very last there you go. What to do next? Yeah, we got a after commitment. The build guide. What happens? Yeah. We're going to go straight to launch. Yeah. Well, aren't we where Justin taught us? Use, share, teach, repeat. Repeat. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're back to where we spent our whole day, which is a launch overview. So obviously inviting that process and then also inviting weekly interactions with success check-ins make sure that people know their steps of success and they know how to measure them. And this is so key because, you know, in this process, we don't just have, you know, we do the business overview and then we do the launch overview and then see you have a great doTERRA experience. We don't drop them off, right? Mm -hmm. This is where we stick with each other and we support each other through this process by doing those weekly check-ins. So there is, um, accountability, these steps and the progress are measured and um, and they just feel the support, right? That partnership doesn't just happen in a moment. It, it continues. Well, and I think we would never expect uh, a pro athlete or even a nine-year-old athlete for that matter to just be like, okay, here's a bat, here's a ball, here's a couple ideas on how to swing, help you figure it out, and then leave them to their own that there's a whole process of growing and becoming and 
measuring results, just like we talked about on your success tracker, looking at, am I converting invites to presentations? Yeah. Am I converting presentations to enrollments? And if you're not checking in with your person, remember, they don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of this is, and you don't have, everything doesn't have to be lips to ears. It's how can we connect them with the tools and trainings and things that we have so that they're feeling more exposed, more educated, and more capable. And the last line here is really powerful. Ultimately, supporting them in reaching their goals is going to help you reach yours. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you do like Tony Robbins said, help, help enough people get what they want, you'll always get what you want. Right. So this mm -hmm. process is so powerful. All right. So everything's kind of cyclical for us today, yep. right? So there we go. We That's where we started. Exactly. So congratulations. You have now experienced all five steps to launch. And like, like Natalie and, and Justin said, you have tons of support and ways to get educated here. And our goal today was to breathe life into this process with you. We hope that hearing our voices and our experience brings you comfort, encouragement, and passion that you feel totally empowered to go and do this. We also hope that as you look back on in the very beginning, when we asked you to consider your level of commitment, right? You've done that between then and now. And um, to re reassess that, look at that and say, this, is this really my level of commitment? You know, where do I see myself in this business? And who am I going to inspire and challenge to be inspired in the process? Well, look at how you've qualified yourself to go back and anchor your commitment again, because you've spent this four hours learning about the business. You have you're more qualified to even rate your own commitment as a result of that. Right. And, and then lives that you'll change as a result of this. I mean, if, if we could just be witnesses of what's gonna flow out from the decisions that you make today and the decisions that you, you know, make as you go forward in implementing what we've talked about today, they're gonna change so many lives, especially yeah. your own. Really the purpose of Launch Camp and the launch guide are to create an elite factory, right? <laughs> to really, to, to help people reach the rank of elite in as short as a time as possible, because it's a domino effect. If you look at our compensation plan, elites create silvers, silvers create platinums and diamonds, and then it just rolls forward from there, right? So if we all get really good at launching and getting people to elite, it's just a simple process. Elites, silvers, platinums, diamonds, boom. So maybe our invitation is whoever you are, whatever rank you are, we invite you to experience this launch process for yourself. Go out and do this. Truly launch yourself to elite. Understand this process. And then your next step will really be to launch three builders to elite. Pass it on, right? Absolutely. That's all you're doing. Well, and we, we really want to represent that we, we are where we are, not because we were superhuman, not because we have special powers, but because we, we have lovingly poured our, it took a lot for us to get conscious about what we did, right? We just did what we did. And we have taken years to dissect the process because a lot of things for all of us in life, like just think about you driving a car, everyone listening has their own magical place in their life where they shine. And, you know, some of you can paint and some do photography, like put a camera in front of me. Well, first of all, I'm going to need my reading glasses. And second of all, it's going to be a whole bunch of dials <laughs> that I have no idea what they do and aptitude and all that kind of stuff. I, although I might know the word, I have no idea how to even set it on a camera. So there's, everybody has an expertise that they've acquired. And what's beautiful about the doTERRA experience is the level of expertise to be successful is simple. And that's what you've experienced today. And to your point, Justin, it's about duplicating this process this is the magic right here. This is what we do. We get, you know, connected to people in their lives. We care about them. We invite them to change their lives. And this is how we've changed our own. And we've simply engaged in that process committedly with increasing capacity over time, right? And just starting out with such simple skills. We knew so little compared to what you're learning. And honestly, we feel like you have that much more possibility for achievement and for time freedom that maybe over the years we've given that time freedom into creating systems because we really want that for you. It's, it's, our, it's our hope for you. So focus in what you find right here in the launch guide so that you can have this elite nailed and then duplicate to silver. And the next step is just to duplicate to platinum. And this will be a powerful launch. So what, foundation what's fun business. is if you go back to those three images of use, share, teach, repeat, mm -hmm. 
look at how the volume of income goes up just from following the wisdom of our master distributor, Justin Harrison, he's in the room. Justin is in the room. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm telling you, trust the guy. He knows what he's talking about. And by engaging in those simple steps, this is how you reach this kind of income. And this is what we've really shown you at the Sorting Hat is you have the ability to earn money to pay for your product. You have the ability to earn money to supplement your income and you have the ability to replace and multiply your income. And these three ranks here are beautiful at demonstrating that. So Justin, Drum roll, the very back page, no better person to there quote, we go. To quote there it himself is. than you. Quote right? myself, that feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> we use oils, we share oils, and we teach others to do the same. You share, teach, repeat. Yep. And I hope that, I, I, I think I speak for all of us, and that we feel a um, huge amount of gratitude that you have spent this time with us, that you've invested this time with us today. Uh, or in the recordings that will be posted on doTERRA's website later. It's been our honor and privilege to be with you. And I hope, we hope, that you have sensed that doTERRA is far more than just a company, but is really a cause that's changing the world. We're excited to be on this journey with you. We love you. We appreciate you more than you know, all your efforts and energy. And we only wish you the maximum success possible. Thanks, everyone. Amen, brother. Now go launch your business. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Go launch. Woo!